the AFL, round three in this afternoon's match from a very wet Opt Optus Oval, incidentally, between Melbourne and St Kilda. These two sides have never played here before. The ground a little bit heavy on the top, especially after some persistent overnight and early morning rain. And we might get a few further showers right throughout the afternoon. A lot of activity on this ground because it has been lengthened to 160 metres. There is a new stand under construction at the eastern end of the oval. So there won't be too much activity down there this afternoon. And as a result, the capacity of the ground probably at the moment limited to around about the 14 or 15,000 mark. Two sides this afternoon, both very, very keen for a win. Both yet to break the ice so far in season 1996 in Kilda. After their success in the Ansett Australia Cup at the start of the year, will start favourites for the match as we check the other games which are going to be played during the course of the day. And three other matches will be played and they all start at different times. One o'clock Eastern, Sydney and Collingwood at the SCG. The Swans eager to break their drought after losing the first two at Waverley. A two o'clock start between Essendon and the West Coast Eagles. The Bombers with a very good record over the Eagles. And later this afternoon at two o'clock Western, four o'clock uh, Eastern, we have Fremantle against Carlton. And already up in Sydney, it's quarter time at the SCG and the Sydney Swans trailing the Magpies by just four points. Sydney 4-3-27 and Collingwood 5-1. 31. And speaking of interstate travellers, Don Scott, a very good afternoon. Yes, Peter, in Brisbane last uh, night, beautiful weather up here and lousy weather in Melbourne. Well, well it's, that's uh, Melbourne. it's real footy weather, isn't it? And both of these two sides very keen to uh, notch up a win. Sean Smith there, he'll be very keen to try to get on the scoreboard with a couple of goals. But let's look at the respective sides as, well, uh, as named by the uh, selectors on Thursday. Well, Peter, uh, we've got a little bit of a whisper and it's, I think it's now been confirmed that Prinky's not out there for Melbourne and uh, Hilton's come up into the side. He was named on interchange. Also coming into the side is Doyle and Doyle will play up forward. Give them something to look at up, up on the forward line. He's a big fellow and uh, you need to capitalise the work up the ground. But Melbourne last week, they had as many possessions as what Collingwood did, yet the difference is about 90 odd points. So obviously they muck around with the ball a lot, Melbourne. They've got to become a little bit more direct in their play. They've got some really good names there, but whether they produce is just another thing. And uh, it'll be an interesting game. Uh, it's not really a tall side, Don, is it? But that today is probably not going to be a disadvantage. Well, uh, I suppose that's a point, Peter. That you know it was a very scrappy game watching mm. the reserves, but you know this weather's grow, the weather's uh, abated. But the ground's now in such terrific conditions. You go back ten years ago, this ground would have been a mess, you know. But the draining has improved so much that they're just absolutely magnificent grounds. And there's a big fellow that's going to have a big bearing on this game because of the fact that Primke's out of the side. And uh, when you take Primke out of the side, that means you've got one less tall fellow. And there's the uh, St Kilda lineup. A very good side and the reason St Kilda have been down, some people say it's a letdown because they won the night grand final, but also there's been a virus going through that uh, club and a lot of players have been suffering from a, a flu type virus. We all know if these viruses get around it, you know, what That's they can I'm do. That's not sitting too, too close to you. Why, because I'm a virus? <laughs> but anyway. You're a legend. <laughs> But uh, it's a good St Kilda side and uh, Keo, Brown and Cripps are coming into that particular side. Well, let's look at some of the key players then that we'll be uh, watching this afternoon. Obviously Stewie Lowe up in front of goals for St Kilda. We noticed he had a long sleeve jumper on a good move under these conditions. Yes, and Ingus and I think may get the job down there. Uh, I like the contrast and that's why I've put them together whether the Brains Trust do it or not because Ingerson's quick. He could run off Lowe and that would give them a bit of a problem with Lowe you know, has got to chase up the ground and if they can utilise uh, Ingus, and that's another thing for Melbourne. Uh, on the wing, well, Winmar is a really just a fantastic player and he's been named in the paper against Phoebe and I think he could line up that way, but Obster's also a good player. He may get the job out there. We'll wait and see. But my main uh, thing, I think, that Phoebe, down the other end, we've got Sean Smith. He's going to be the interesting one. I think he'd be too big for, too quick. There he is uh, with the guard on his arm, Sean Smith for uh, Shanahan and also Sarah Kosky. Robbie Neal's been in really good form on the back flank. They could just switch them around just a little bit, but it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Did you know that uh, Fred Fanning kicked 18 goals for Melbourne against St Kilda in the late 1940s? We might We're joking. Where'd you get that off a fan Might not rapper? even see 18 goals kicked today. We might. Well, let's That's see what Neil Curley thinks. Curls, what's the ground like? Well, it's very heavy underfoot. A lot of grass down here, too. It's very thick, so the ball's going to be very wet. Uh, there's more rain coming which is going to make it very difficult for the tall players. And just having a quiet chat to Neil Barn before the game, he's quietly confident. He feels the conditions 
will favour the, the Demon players. They're, he thinks they're a little bit stronger in the packs. I can't quite work that out with the fellows like Harvey Burke and possibly Winmar uh, operating in that area. Um, but he, he's quietly confident. He thinks they're OK, although I, I agree with Don. I just think they're one quality tall man short for the defensive area. Ingerson will certainly get low, and uh, it'll be interesting to see who picks up Wakeland. Uh, Vitovic and Steins. Well, I think Steins is more, he's more mobile and in these conditions. I think he may give them an edge. And I think it's about time Viney's up and play one of his very strong games. But Harvey's the key to St Kilda. If Harvey picks up the possessions like he can pick up, you know, he, he really can hurt sides. OK, thanks, Curl. And, uh, well, the rain has stopped momentarily, but as Neil suggested, we'll probably get a few showers later on during the course of the day. We'll take a break. Peter McKenna joins us in commentary when we return to Optus Oval. Going to the left in the first quarter. Umpire throws the ball in the air. Pretty heavy in the middle after the overnight rain. Daniels goes at it solidly. The ball socket off the ground down towards the 50 metre line. Chance for the D's to pick it up. That's Nettlebeck. A high kick lands about. Th oh, what a mark! Smith! And what they've got Shanahan on Smith. Now that's an interesting move, and they're doing what they did last night as far as the setup of the respective forward lines. The two forward pockets, forwards, that is, start right in the full forward line. Everybody out of the 50-metre semicircle. Consequently, Smith and the other forward can lead up there with confidence. Well, Sean Smith took the mark of the year last year, and I'll tell you what, we won't see much better than that this afternoon. He's got the breeze at his back. It's a strong southwesterly. 35 out directly in front. He kicks out. He goes. Great start to the Dees. Well, it all started in the centre. Jim Stein's got the first hit out, sent it uh, Melbourne's way, and they certainly did capitalise. Interesting setup, as I said, the forward line. You'll see here Smith coming over with the big leap. And I think he'll be just a bit too quick for Shanahan. Well, he has. He is a real jumping jack, Sean Smith, as evidenced in it when he took that great mark then. Up by throwing the ball up. Steins again. Oh, the big thump down oh. towards Andrew Obst. He's grabbed when he didn't have it. Keo and Viney are at it, and Viney's going to chase and get Keo. Watch this. Now oh. there's Keo giving it back to Winmar after receiving the handball in the first place. Oh, Joel Smith's dropped the sitter. Taken by Brett Lovett. Lovett drives it down towards half forward. Good attempt, Mark. Oh, Daniels went in very, very hard after it. Oh, Hilton is unloaded. Hip and shoulder. He was hit very, very hard. Bitterbeck and Harvey are there. Harvey gives it to Burke. Two of their stars combining. Burke kicks wide. And I think, is it out on yes. the full? It is. It was just interesting, the by play behind play, because Keo got Viney at the centre, bounced down. Viney there, number 12, just gave Keo another push in the back just prior to getting that free kick. Todd's the captain today. Well, he's a tough customer. And too. so is Keo. Yeah. And they, Keo used to play at Melbourne as well. So, Todd Viney. Steins at the back against Bitovic, taken by Nathan Burke. Burke sprints away from half back towards centre wing. Hotwood is there, pushing and shoving. Wakeland is caught, taken by Neitz. He seems to be playing at centre half back. He finds Steins at half forward. Jimmy Steins had to beat the tribunal before he could take his place in the side this week. He's done that. And Nettlebeck takes the mark. It's bad marking by St Kilda. Bitovic giving uh, too much room to Steins. And here's Nettlebeck. He's been everywhere, started at Wagga and uh, tremendous athlete playing football. Went to Sydney Swans, oh, he started with Sydney, then over to Fremantle. Didn't make a regular appearance at Fremantle. Now he's got his chance at Melbourne. But he's a good shape, as you can see. And well, can play a lot of positions too, Don. Nettlebeck is around about 50 metres out. This, guy, this ground, by the way, has been lengthened from last season. To make it the same size as the MCG. I think he's kicked oh, it. I think he's got it. He has. So a great start for the Bees with the win of the first quarter. Two goals and killed to get the score. Well, just looking at that sock, I don't think the win's going to be a factor. Those uh, flags are a little bit limp hanging on the uh, social club. But there's Steins with his number two haircut, or is it a three? But a four and a half. Yeah, it could be as well. But there's Nettlebeck. And it's a great kick for goal. So again it's Steins versus Vitovic. Vitovic with the left hand, thumps it forward. 
Good start to Melbourne with the first two goals. That's Cowell off the ground. Robert Harvey for his second handball. Goes wide to Winmar. Bit of talent between those two. Here's uh, Zilla towards half forward. Burke caught behind. Pumps it away. Hand pass by Jones. On to Keogh. Keo on the left foot. Drives it down to the pocket. They race back after it. Number 10 you see on screen for Melbourne is Marcus Seacamp, former Fitzroy player. Rod Keo in the centre of the screen now. And that's their first score. So two goals, Melbourne, St Kilda are behind. I think Rod Keo, when he was at Melbourne, used to wear number 31, didn't he? He did, he did too. Famous number there. 11 points the difference. 17 minutes left in the term. Ground fairly heavy. And an infringement, a holding decision going St Kilda's way. It's good to see the going to take it. That. Gives it over to Harvey. If he can get his footing right he does he'll kick long it's a pre there, was there a bit of interference there yes. Trinides was in possession and it's coming back paid the advantage rule the D's take advantage of that Smith again mark number two what a ripper so you would have sworn he was underneath that but he's got that a terrific spring, Don. He has, but I'm more impressed with Jim Steins. He's really leading Vitavik about, isn't he? Look at Steins for a mobile ruckman. Look at the spring that he's got. What a sensation. Isn't well, it? spring's one thing, but hanging on to the football on a wet day is something else, isn't it? So Do Sean Smith for his second. Do you think it's that wet day? The ball doesn't seem to be a problem. They're handling it well, well they are they? so far. Yeah. Be right to left this. Yes. Draws it oh, back. Nice kick. That's pretty good. I think he might have just missed. He has. So one goal, one to Sean Smith. Two fantastic marks, two kicks. The difference, 12 points. Well, you can see when you're down that end, it's got to be the right-hand goal post. Now, this is Justin Pickett. Now, they're looking for a short one, and he'll find it. And it's Jamie Shanahan. Well, he's got to uh, contend with the high-leaping uh, Sean Smith. Here's Stephen Zilla. Justin Peckett, Peckett from half back, drives it to centre wing. Wakelin in front, good attempt. Here's Turley, caught, almost holding the ball. Quick hand pass, comes out to Glenn Lovett. That was from Steins. In towards the pockets, Shanahan, and Shanahan quite happy to take it over the line. Very underrated defender, Jamie Shanahan, but he's going to have his work cut out this afternoon if the first few minutes is any indication. Sean Smith, two marks for one goal, one. Two fantastic grabs they were. Left forward pocket for the D's. Burke, Viney. Good tackle, Viney, isn't he strong? Out of bounds. Well, he'll get better too. He's only he he might have missed a lot of the pre-season training. Mm. He's got a good character, Todd. He's, uh, he was vice captain after his first year of uh, AFL football for Melbourne. Nettlebeck, Vitovic, Burke. Quick kick out of defence. It's the centre square. Hopgood over Reddit. Chance for Daniels. He applies a good tackle. Umpire lets it go. Melbourne into attack again. Phoebe. Wobbly kick off the boot. Lands forward pocket. And it beats Robbie Neave over the boundary line for another throw in. This time only about 10 metres from the behind post. And you must keep warm today with this cool southwesterly. Stretching the hamstrings there. Zilla and Obst waiting for it. Plenty go at it. Vitovic taps it down. Chance now for the D's. Oh, Having a step on this never back. That's a great goal. What a shot. Right from the boundary line. Sensational start for Melbourne. 3 1 to 1 point. Well, he kicked one on a deliberate shot on the other side, Nettlebeck. And that time on the run on his non preferred foot. Here he comes. Look at that. Excellent kick for goal. Oh, Even Melbourne's. Peter McKenna's an admiration. Fantastic it was on your non preferred And he never looked like missing it. No, he really it balanced was. himself. Great kick, wasn't it? So three goals. The Demons lead. Turley tries to thump it on. Here's Todd Biney. Gives it off to Turley. He's caught. That could be holding the ball. Oh, the umpire very lenient there. Quick hand pass. Out to McLaren. Back it comes to Zilla. Zilla to half forward. Oh, good mark. Good love it. Very experienced player. Playing his 200th. So, uh, Brett Lovey's been a great player for Melbourne. 
to half forward. Darrell Wakeman at the back. Nettlebeck at the front. He's caught, but gets in a hand pass. Here's Glenn Lovett. Or could have kicked it. And tries to knock it on Uze. The ball's held to him. He was caught very, very high. Zilla has it smothered off the boot. Knocked on by Clarkson. Down towards Winmar. Oh, oh look at the skill of Winmar. Magnificent. On to Shanahan. Shanahan under pressure. Kicks wide. Finds Nathan Burke. To Daniels, who's been an excellent player this year. He finds Bitterbeck and immediately plays on. Knocked on by low. This is Ossie Jones. Way out at half forward. He bends back towards half forward. Glenn Love, oh. a good mark. Very good mark. Very high standard match for the conditions. Love it goes across the ground to a rejuvenate of Jimmy Steins, it would appear. Pinpoint accuracy. Phoebe got a panic to move in. Loose men everywhere, as Pete McKenna would say. Uze lines up the goals, draws it back, and hits the post. Oh, some Kilda fans breathe a sigh of relief. It really did deserve better, didn't it? So one behind, kicked by Adam Uze. He likes it all the way until the last metre. Pitovic off and coming on as Surikoski because he's got a little bit more mobility and he'll go with Steins. Justin Peckett to bring the ball back in for St Kilda. Runner up in their best and fairest at 94. Big boy, Surikoski is just looking at him really his well. His dad built. was pretty big. He's Neil. Bigger, bigger than his dad. Nettlebeck again. He's kicked two goals already. Oh. Clarkson, formerly of North Melbourne. Off one step. There he is again, mark number three, Sean Smith. Well, I'll have to make a change, I think. Well, Shanahan is a very good pullback, and he's been he's out quick yet, but he's not quick enough, Peter. Uh, in preview, we made mention of that, and uh, Smith's going to be a problem because he's got that 50-meter arc in which to move. He's starting well, well back. Look at him. They put it up, and he's... Look. And that's St Kilda. They say he's one of the quickest players in the club by over 50 meters, so surprising. Smith for his second. He's kicked 1-1. One, one. He's got Mark of the Day wrapped up, you would think, already. Oh, two posters. So one goal, two. He's kicked out of the D's tally of three goals, three. Well, it could have been 5-1, couldn't it? Effectively, Uze hit the post once. Pickett kicks in again, goes short, and the mark is taken for the Saints by Joel Smith. Very talented young player, Smith. Now he transfers play here, and he found that Daniels on the picket. He runs around. Yeah, how far has he run? He did run a long way. Now his two little goers, Burke and Hopgood, and it's forced over the line on uh, centre wing. But a terrific start by Melbourne. The, they would, the wind would be favouring that in, but looking at the reserves, they did score up the other end uh, fairly freely. So. Steins over the back. Smith was grabbed. Obst. And umpires look as though they're going to give the players a little bit of leeway. And with the heavy conditions, or reasonably heavy conditions, I think that's a, a good idea. Should give them a bit of leeway every every game. They don't let the game flow. Fred Allen throws the ball up. Sirikoski actually won that one. Good kick by Turley. Well, that's a mark of the P.O. The umpire's not paying it, but it, now he's paying a free kick. I don't think he paid the mark. Uh, Rod Keo, the boy from Castlemaine. The drive it to half forward. Yes, it's Shui Low. Oh, good mark. And I hope they don't pay 50 there, because I don't think it was. He copped one across the face. Uzo, I think it was, wasn't it? Yes, it was Uzo coming through. But I don't think it was uh, 50. It was in the act of taking the mark, so... Uh, he could have really cleaned him up, Uze, if that's possible with Stewie Lowe, because... I, I, don't, I don't think he could hurt Stewie, could you? Hit him with a sledgehammer. Oh, nah. that didn't look, I don't think it's as bad as... Uh, as Stewie, Stewie <laughs> no, it tells Stewie that he can't well, get up. Well, it just looked like... It looked as if he got him across his shoulder, actually. That's what it did look like, didn't it, on the mm. replay? Maybe you think he was trying to get 50? Well, maybe, Stu maybe Stewie will do well in Hollywood. Just a little tap yeah. around there. Yeah. Not too bad. In towards half forward, here's a chance for the Saints. No mark. Trionides tries to get it out. It's tapped further afield. There's Cal. Ozzie Jones, very skillful. Daniels centers the ball. Steins underneath it. Puts it away. Robbie Harvey's got it. Under Keo. He'll Keo drill it. Sail for home. Yes. Good play, Harvey. 
So Keogh's kick one goal one. And that is the St Kilda score at the moment. They trail by 14 points. 21 plays 7. Well, Keogh injured his knee in the pre-season competition. He's playing in the centre. And when he gives the ball away quickly, Keogh, like now, he is a good player. But on occasions he tends to do or try to do it just a bit too much. Harvey, you mean? No, Keogh. Oh, right. Back to the middle, 14 points the difference. The D's through Lovett on the cow. We'll run it out of defence. Good long kick. I think that answers the win question. Win mark. Courage needed there, and he's got plenty. On he goes. Nicky Winmar. The half forward and Burke. Got the fingertips to it. Couldn't quite hang on though. Well, the umpires, he pulled it up. No, he hasn't. I was looking back. Player stopped as if to get a free kick. He must have paid advantage. Knocked away by Peckett. And again he goes. Kicks towards half forward. Smith. Effective hand pass. Back to Smith from Peckett, who's hurt. Kick inside 50. It's loose. Ozzy Jones goes off the ground and misses. One behind. She's an exciting young player, Jones. Kicked by number 29, Austin Jones. 1 2 to 3 3. And Stewie Lowe, well, we said he got hit on the shoulder, oh. but it must have been a bit more serious than we thought. Oh, and they're must... looking at his jaw. Yes, it did look lower than that, but he must have been clipped on the jaw. And let's hope there's not a little break there. Here's Uze, very talented player. Onto the left, down towards Hilton. Oh, good mark. Oh, he's paid the free kick. I oh, know he hasn't. I thought he signalling he was paying the free kick. Down towards half forward and Turley. Turley and Shanahan and Smith. Turley should handball. He, was he bends he it was back. Out. Was he out? Yes, yes, he, he was. was That's the boundary umpire. And uh, maybe should have handballed quickly then instead of trying to kick it. But um, so my apologies to Stewie, Stewie Lowe. I really thought he'd only been. I agree with you, Peter. It looked as though he got hit on the shoulder, but. But Camera angles can do funny things. Amazing, isn't it? So, Turley is there. Clarkson went in hard. There's Daniels. Very good player, Daniels. The half-back in the mark has been taken by Joe McLaren. So, a lot of good, promising young players, the Saints. And this is one of them. Joe McLaren. The centre wing, Glenn Lovett is there. The Saints, through Luke Beveridge, try and get it away. Neitz went without it. It's shuffled out back towards uh, Hilton. Beveridge again. Oh, too high that tackle. Far too high, and the free kick will go to Rob Keogh. Keogh's been a busy player. Gets it away to Zilla. Up to midfield. Fumbled by Joel Smith. Might have got a free kick for in the back. Umpires let it go. Winmar takes the hand pass at left centre wing. Down towards half forward. No mark taken. Trianides. Phoebe applies a tackle, balls is the crowd, and the umpire's paid it. So against Neils. And Phoebe with the free kick. That's one Phoebe in the side today, Matthew. Kickers to centre wing. Came down to Daniels, who's been one of their most productive players this year. Let's go down to Neil Curley for an injury report on Stewie Lowe. Yes, he did cop it, just uh, it bounced off the shoulder, the arm onto his chin. A uh, little bit of blurred vision there for a while and just a little bit of grogginess. Uh, he should be OK. They don't think there's a break or anything, and he should be back on the ground uh, a little while. Thanks, Curls. Love its kick. Zilla tries to punch the ball clear, succeeds in getting it over the boundary line. <laughs> Tip is becoming a little bit frayed, and Daniels can have that effect on opponents. Let's see what happened to Stewie now. Watch the shoulder initially, and, well, from that angle, it doesn't look as though contact was made on the head, but obviously it was. Winmar has the free kick. Against the breeze. Back to Lovett, playing his 200th, as Don mentioned. Steins got caught underneath it. Good shepherd by Keo. Daniels tries to go off the ground. Oh, oh free kick. That would be against Peckett. I thought the St Kilda guy should have got a free kick a moment ago. He's hurt his shoulder, Justin Peckett. And Hilton will take the free kick. I caught him being hurt before, and I yeah. think they just aggravated it. Drops a little bit short. Oh, what a leap 
from Smith again. He's paid it. Sensational grab. No doubt about it being a mark. Fantastic leap. Well, everything's going Melbourne's way, isn't it? Everything going against St Kilda. And Peckett has really done his shoulder because he, he walked off himself. He, look, he's dislocated it. It's well, hanging limply by his side, which is wretched luck. And Kilda. very painful. Well, they got low off. Now Peckett and Melbourne are on fire. Well, Sean Smith's on fire. He's kicked one goal, two. Inside 50 with the shot. It's not confident, Peter, just by his body language. One goal, three, he's kicked. And he has been an absolute sensation so far. Look at this great grab. But again, he's very high in the air, isn't he? Even for that chest mark. Now the kick in. Oh, just this, held on to by Keogh. On the Burke. I don't, I don't think Melbourne have capitalised enough on the amount of play they've had, though. Here's Joel Smith, because they've had it down there most of the quarter, and they've only kicked uh, three goals, four. And uh, Steins versus Surikoski. Daniels out to Robbie Harvey. He's got it. Court that's holding the ball. Oh, yeah, it's a dynamite on that now. Even if you slip over, Harvey... Well, that's what cost him the slip. But Alistair Clarkson from centre wing brings it to half forward. Nettleback, oh, jumped into the back of the St Kilda player. And Daniels tries to get it out. And uh, the up will throw it up. David Grant is there also. He's playing against his old club. Look at the tackle there on Hilton, far too high. That's where Pickett did his That's shoulder. That's what he did. That's Pickett did look, his shoulder. Look at that. Now I'm with Peter. I think he did it earlier too. Here's Neitz down on the forward line. He couldn't hang on to it. Neitz is, no, Neitz is down now. Oh, he's hurt too. There's a Nathan Burke around the boundary line. Let's have a look at David Neitz. This could be the survival of the fittest. Here's like the Battle of Britain, the way they're going down. Well, the good thing is he's holding his head. Well, what, 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 <laughs> what, what have you got? Well, you can get up and play if you've got oh, a head you're injury. Too tough. Oh, how many times did you do oh, that? A head injury, but you've if it's a muscle or a do it. broken bone, Don, you're more worried, aren't you? Centre wing. Gee, you never got hit around the head. Oh, they, they couldn't catch him. Vision. I mean, they couldn't catch him. Put your pasties away and just get concentrated no. on the football. Centre wing. There's Harvey. Caught again. Oh, they're not letting... They're not letting Robbie Harvey run loose. And Neitz is up too behind play, Peter. He's still a bit groggy, but he's at least up and going. Harvey just one and three so far. There he is, David Neitz. Probably seeing a few stars. Harvey, if he can gather it in, he doesn't usually fumble. Over to Winmar. Winmar goes short and finds Burke. Still he goes, Winmar. Well, three, he's got to come back. The three star players combined then. Yeah. In 20 metres. Nathan Burke is going to go across the ground. He looks for and finds Tony Brown, one of the youngsters. Brown's kicked a half forward. Oh, that's a free kick, surely. There's some Kilda. Shane Wakeland. He's the slightly bigger of the two twins. Good lead by Trionides. If he can pick it up. Snapshot on the right foot. Oh. Fantastic shot, as good as Nettlebeck's from the other end. 3-4 to 2-2, two, two. and the Saints back at it in the first quarter with four minutes to go. And the other thing is that Neitz has gone off the ground. While that play was going on, Neitz has gone off the ground, but what excellent effort here. He offered the lead, and he's wearing that infamous number 32 at St Kilda, <laughs> but hasn't he got some talent, this boy? He looks a bit like Robbie Muir, too. There's Hubby. The half foot Uze back with a flight. He grabs it and belts it long. Daniels back with a flight. So the Saints drive it from half back right down towards the half forward line. And the Trionides again, or is it a free kick to Wakeman? It's given to Ozzy Jones. Quick kick to the half forward line. Andrew Obster's at the back. Quick hand pass. Todd Viney. Viney wide, and the mark has been taken by Matthew Phoebe. Phoebe close to the boundary line. 
goes short with the kick. He's found a teammate in uh, Nettlebeck in the Gadesius. Who's kicked two good goals so far. What an absolute perler. Match of a pretty high standard. Wakeland. That left halfback has taken the mark for the Saints. 22 plays 14. One gets a feeling that St Kilda are starting to compose themselves. And just starting. Shanahan. After that whirlwind start by Melbourne. Well, Melbourne should have kicked five or six goals in position. that first. Well, two posters didn't help, did it? Let's no. be fair. Jamie Shanahan and has had his hands full with Sean Smith got, so you've far. You've got to kick them when, when you're with the win. Oh, it was all yours, partner. Everybody left it. <laughs> and it's all tied up on centre wing. Three minutes left in the first quarter. D's 3-4, the Saints 2-2. Two, two. And that's the hospital ward down there. Neats still trying to clear the head. Steins doing the ruck work. Daniels comes out with a football. Free kicks and Kilda. Going to who? And they're important players. Peter, they're important players are on the bench for both teams. Neats, the state representative, low co-captain. Also Peckett, he does the kicking in and setting up work down back. So the integral parts of this side, the injured players at the moment. Craig Turley, runner up in the 91 Brownlow. Kicks to set a wing. Keo, good spoil. It's going to be a free kick. Phoebe. Matthew Phoebe had three kicks almost in the identical spot. Over there on the outer side. We'll call it the outer side. It's in front of what used to be known as the Hawthorne stand. Now, what's the umpire doing here? Dennis Rich has come in, he's speaking to Phoebe, it's going the other way. I think there's something must have happened behind the play and they've taken the free kick back up there, the half forward. Gee, coaches would hate that when, they're, when your side's got possession of the ball and it's turned over. Especially at this stage of the first quarter. Unforgivable. Like a, the centre square infringement. Hawthorne did it four times yesterday, so Ken Judd would have been pulling his hair out. Trianini's off the ground, and one behind. Well, he's a champion soccer player, a very good junior, a top-class junior soccer player. Kicked a great goal a couple of weeks ago like that way. He won't kick too many better than he did today with his first. 2-3 to 3-4, and the difference is seven points. Well, there's Stewie Lowe. I'm sure he'll be back on to start the second term. St Kilda will be hoping so, as will Melbourne with Neats. And here's Surakoski. Oh, good kick. Right up in front of goal. Joel Smith is there. Ingerson also. Now Cowell. He's very, very quick by an ordinary hand pass. Brown is caught. Back it comes. Keogh is oh, hip and shoulder. All the players stood there. Now, is that deliberate? No. So it's a very physical game. They're going very, very hard, and the good thing is it's all hip and shoulder stuff. <laughs> Rodney was trying to even up. He can go, Rodney. <laughs> He's a good young fella. He's a nice kid. He is. Further from Castlemaine. There's Jimmy Steins. Quick kick comes back towards the half-back line. McLaren is the flyer. Hit. Cozzy Jones. Very good talent of player. He's found Winmar with a great kick. Winmar from 40 metres. Middle by the champ. Well, Wimbar got the goal, but pinpoint accuracy with the pass from Jones, wasn't it? It was just one step that ball when he let it go. It was amazing, wasn't it? He had a ton of room in which to move, but that's his class, uh, Nicky Wimbar. What's this? He, they spot him, he's left by himself, and then just goes bang. Well, there's two steps. One little one and a little bit longer, but excellent play. So the Saints back in it, the difference back to one point now. Time out in the first quarter. Bryony tries to bark his way through. Phoebe, but the umpire has blown the whistle and the ball will come back to the middle. Luke Beveridge against his old club, or one of them. Goes to the point of the square. Mark is taken by Tony Brown. Brown straight down the spine of the ground. Knows there's not much time left. Harvey went without the footy. Smith got ridden into the turf. Ball jarred free again. Wakeland couldn't pick it up. Daniels can. Snapshot. Clock running down. Trianides. 
over the top. Obst, Keo, a snap. Boot to ball quickly. Huge pack of players there. None can bring it down. Winmar a chance if he can get clear. The hand pass. Snap by Wakelin. Burke. Off hands. Pass stops. And oh, out of bounds. Now the, player, the coaches have got to impress on their players to get in front. Front position because it's a real pressure game. The ball's getting heavy. And the ball is dropping as you can see. And the most important position on the field at the moment is in front. Well Wakelin's trying to get in front of Steins for the throw in. Which he does. Now a chance for the D's. Turley can't get clear. Ball jarred free again. Over the boundary line. Viney lets his opponent know who's boss. And the boundary umpire will throw it in. Luke Beveridge on screen there. Started his career at Melbourne. And there looks like Daniels has hurt himself. Let's hope not. Been a tough first quarter, hasn't it? it certainly is. And uh, good game to watch. Oh, there's not a free in there. That's good. That's oh, good. What for? No, that's good. Let's cut all. I hate this. And... Well, the free kick's paid. He won't that's make the good. distance, I wouldn't think. What? What? Tiggy Touchwood it's in It's not that? Tiggy Touchwood. It's Grabby. Well, if he grabbed him, fair enough. Now, years team. ago, they used it's... to pay these all the time. What's Steins? Look, well, look, he's locked his arm. Steins has locked his well, arm. You're seeing something I can't see. Well, well... Wakeland. Anyway, I doubt whether he'll make the distance from here. He's got a kick at 55. Not bad. Oh, beautiful kick at Squiggy. Oh. Back. oh! Was that touched or is it a goal? That is a long, long kick. And just touched on the line. What a magnificent kick. I gave him no hope from there. So he scores little at the first change after Melbourne bolted like an Oakley plater. St Kilda, through some pretty good work, managed to pick them back at the first change. And that looks like uh, Justin, Justin Pickett, Pickett, is it? Yes. Stewie Lowe copped a heavy one midway through the quarter. Let's hope he can come back. Neats also got one in the head. Been a very, very tough first quarter of football between these two sides, both looking for their first win. Hilton looks as though he's limping. Gee, I tell you what, it's going to be a last man standing affair, isn't it? Well, Neats is back on. It's been such okay. a physical game and that ball's sort of stopping and not running all that much and so players are getting crunched. But most of it's been, well, all of it's been hip and shoulder type stuff. Very, very good. Let's take a break. Scores level at Optus Oval. We'll be back for the second quarter in just a moment. Optus Oval scores dead level after the D's got a break early when Sean Smith was on fire. Love it. Kicks out towards right half forward. No mark taken out there. Wakeland got a hand to it, was not able to control it. Hilton, now he was limping when he went to the quarter time huddle, but he seems to be okay now. It's out of bounds. Former St Kilda player from Dramana. This is calling the hotel. There's a few, aren't there, playing against their uh, former yeah. club? Seems to happen more often these days. Love it again from Daniels. Winmar put the boot in. Hilton, twist out of trouble. Gee, how did he do that? Oh, great mark. He's winded himself, I think. Got one on the head. Doyle. With the very popular goatee beard these days. He played well when they were thrashed by uh, Geelong. It's amazing to think you can kick 20 goals down at Cadinia Park and still lose by five goals, isn't it? Doyle, just inside 50. Hooks it a little bit. In fact, hooks it quite a lot. And only one behind for Melbourne. So the D's again go to the lead. Doyle's first score. And one behind. 3-5 to 3-4 early in the second quarter. So Robert Neal. So wide. That's Stephen Zilla. Now Nathan Burke at half back. That's a good movement that by uh, the Saints. Almost a free kick out there kicked around the corner by Luke Beveridge and Robbie Harvey's taken the mark immediately plays on a dangerous one because Turley was waiting there for Melbourne gives it off back it comes to Turley it's Todd Viney on to Turley former West Coast Eagle here's Glenn Lovett Lovett it's a promising move this to half forward Doyle couldn't get there Sock it off the ground something went on behind the play here yeah Doyle gave away a free kick on uh, Wakeland it was uh, too high and it looks like uh, Wakeland's going to take the kick. This is uh, Daryl Wakeland. There's 
The twins are both playing, Shane Wakelin and Darrell. This is Darrell. Now he gives it off. And number 36 you see on screen is uh, Jason Cripps. Kick comes down towards half forward. Traonides went without it. Turley's working very hard. Hooks it out. And that's uh, Lamprell, but he's gone straight to centre. Oh, he was off. Rodney was P.O., off. is he off? No, the he umpire's... He was, he took him. a step, Peter. Yeah, but the umpire's allowing him not. Dennis Rich, the umpire. So, Rod Keogh. Now, he's going to chip it wide and short. But he finds Cripps again. He dummies the hand pass and races onto the left foot, down towards Trionides again. Oh, good play by Beveridge. He's a former Melbourne player as well, but he's kicked it straight to Jimmy Steins. No, he's going to let him come back and have another kick. Stones is not happy. He paid the advantage and then uh, seemed well, to reverse it. Because well, the, the advantage was well, The advantage was to himself. I think he was lucky to get that back, actually. So this is uh, Luke Beveridge. A very difficult shot for goal, almost on the boundary line from 45 metres. And he has put it through for a behind. A good, tough game, and uh, well, both sides pretty desperate and scores are level. Killer had more use of the ball, particularly in that first quarter, Peter, but um, you know, really having capitalised Ingerson to bring the ball back. He's been in the play that much. It's not a bad kick either. Steins with the gloves. On the shoulder, says the umpire. Free kick to St Kilda against Steins. I cannot believe that decision. So it goes to Sirikoski. On to Daniels. Now that's some kill to play. Absolutely con the umpire because Steins couldn't believe it himself. <laughs> well, let's see what happened now, look there. At this. Look at that. He just so jumped, out, jumped out of the way, and that is poor umpiring because he, he staged it. Bob Johnson used to do that all the oh, time. Remember Bob Johnson? Yes, Four years ago, it would be. How could you fall for that? Now, that's going to cost Melbourne a goal. Do you fall for stupid things. Trionides has kicked one goal, one. And the goal he kicked was an absolute gem. He then tried to soccer one off the ground, which just missed for one behind. He's 45 out, 45 degree angle. Goal umpire runs across, and no crowd indication down there to tell us. So one behind. Trionides tally up to one goal, two. And the difference now one point in favour of the Saints. 3-6 to 3-5. Ingerson to again bring the ball back into play. Melbourne playing the huddle at centre half back. Steins again. This time punched away by Surakoski. And the D's through Clarkson will run the ball out. They run it up towards centre wing. That's as far as it's going. It's out of bounds. Cripps there with Hilton. Been a very good pickup for Melbourne. Clarkson has done particularly well in the first two games for this his new side, formerly of North Melbourne. It's pretty solid in the clinches. Steins rucking well, rucking beautifully, as a matter of fact. Lovett gets overrun. Daniels into his back. Saints fans looking for a free kick. It's going to be a free kick going to Lovett. Lovett goes up towards Craig Turley, and Turley takes the mark just inside the boundary line. Well, Craig Turley's having a very good quarter. He's really working hard. There's Steins at the back. No mark. Shuffled out towards Winmar. Under Burke. Nathan Burke to Daniels. Oh, he's dropped the marker. Glenn Lovett's playing well. Breaks away. Belts it up towards Smith. Smith. Oh, to nearly a mark. Oh, I don't think he marked oh, it. No, I don't think he marked it. I reckon he? that ball hit the deck. I thought it did too. He took the first grab, but then again, the umpire not in the position. On he's the blind side. Exactly right. Well, let's see if it did hit the ground. We'll see it did. Oh, oh. yes. Yeah. Hit the ground before the first grab. But then again, the umpire was behind and he really didn't see. He well, didn't have a clear view. You have to have a guess. So, uh, should it Sean be play Smith? or bounce? Well, it should well, be, he... but if you don't see it, Petey, you well, pay what you know. I think he just anticipated should, it was a right. mark. But Smith from right in front, he's got to kick this. And he does. That's his second. Two goals, three, he's kicked. Well, a handy one for Melbourne. They needed one at that stage. Yes, well, you know, we're all capable of making mistakes. The poor old umpire, you can see their left of screen. Just behind the oh, play. Nowhere near it. That was a Barry Crocker, that one. <laughs> anyway, Sean Smith will take it. 4-5 to 3-6, the difference five points at Optus Oval. 
Steins and Sirakoski. Burke. Burke leading in the race. Uze goes with him. Now Harvey takes the hand pass at right centre wing. Beautiful evasion from the Saints champ. Low back on the ground. Leads out to Mickerson and takes the mark. Thought about going quickly. I think he should have, Peter, because Trionides was there by himself. And I'll, Stewart will have trouble making this different uh, di uh, distance. Well, the breeze should be at his back effectively. Right on 50. Oh, what Gee, that's not a bad yeah. roost. Harvey at the back. Or is it out of bounds? No, he's paid it. Well, he'll have to run around. By well, the way, he can balk and dodge and wave. He'd be hard to grab well, anyway. That's right. Here he goes. He shoots. He's drawn it back. Like one of Greg Norman's three iron shots, but only one behind. Uh, one of the great players in the competition, in my opinion, on screen. But Harvey, Peter, when a player is in that position, we see it a lot. Do you think they should go back further, which then allows them to Opens open up, up the, the angle? A little yeah. bit. What do you think? Well, there's Stan Elves and Gary Culling. I, I, I would rather do what he did, run out and have a snap. Now, is this the blood rule? I mean, it could be Nicky Winmar. Someone was another ball. No, another ball, actually. Actually, once it goes up, there's no one down there. The workmen aren't there. There's no one to uh, bring it back. Well, there's a couple of guys down there, but they can't find it. I think there's a big hole. There he is. He's looking for it. It's probably disappeared in the water that we've had today. There's one, there fellow, there's one fellow down there. Probably can't swim. Probably a bit of a Doesn't pool want to drown. of water down there behind where all that mud is. So Ingerson to drive it back into play. Oh, big leaping again. Winmar, received from Beveridge, brings it to half forward, and the mark has been taken by Nathan Burke directly in front, 40 don't, metres out. Oh, don't tell me someone oh, else is down with a knee. Don't tell me this oh. is a knee. Oh, it's Winmar. That's Look, Winmar too, isn't well, it? Well, he grabbed his knee, Nicky Winmar. Oh, that that oh, would be a tragedy if shit. that is a knee injury. Oh, he grabbed at it. Mm, I think he's done it. Oh, no, we really don't want to see that as we see Nathan Burke. Kick a goal. They've called for the stretcher. They've called for the stretcher. The St Kilda champ, Nicky Winmar, is down. And let's pray that that is not a knee injury. Oh. And we've got this on replay. It's great to have the camera, isn't it? Because he just slipped over, did he? Yeah, let's see. Oh, no. Oh, he got oh, we just missed there it. The Maybe side. a smother. Let's hope it's just a medial. They're not as bad as what a cruciate. And posterior. Uh, well, the way he's holding his head, he's in a lot of pain. Uh, Don, can you remember a season where we've seen more knee injuries? That's only three weeks old, remember? Yes. Yeah, well, no, Peter, I haven't really thought about it, but uh, there's well, been Well, we've a seen few, Wren do his knee again. Schwartz yeah. has done his knee again. Winmar now today. We've seen two West Coast Eagles players and, last week and with And last year as well. Yeah. What about yeah. last year, the number of knees? I mean... Surely there's more to it than just coincidence. Well, a couple of those guys, when you take into account Schwartz and uh, uh, Wren, uh, you know, have already had the knee injury, haven't they? I can't know. This is probably the first for Winmar if it is a knee. There's the smother. So Lamperell just comes across well, there. Well, this takes him out. It could be just a medial. Well, you never know, though, do you? Seacamp's coming off for Melbourne, and he is being replaced by Grant. David Grant. Now, that means that St Kilda have got a full complement of players on the ground. They've got no reserves. And Neitz is warming up again just as we speak. Coming on is Joel Smith. So let's hope that they uh, don't have any more injuries, St Kilda. Well, that is... Uh, you hate to see that happen to anybody, but when a star is down like that... Well, why, why is it it always seems to be the champion players that pop it? It's amazing. But, uh, we're only surmising, aren't we, really, at the well, moment? I but it's certainly, the worst. certainly looked like it. Well, he's done something that's drastically wrong, hasn't he? Look, he's still in pain. Well, it's certainly got a dip the Saints' chances today. Neil Curley hopefully will get some news for us as soon as he can. And we'll pass that on to you. So the scoreboard reads Melbourne 4-5, St Kilda 4-7. The Saints by two points. 
after that goal, and that now seems eons ago. Joel Smith, who's just come back onto the ground, gets sandwiched. It's a good day for football now. The rain seems to have gone past. It's a very physical game. It has been from the outset. Umpire throws it in the air. Steins and Sirikoski. Back it comes to Beveridge. Quick kick up towards half forward. Oh, oh smart. Smith to Burke. On the burst to full forward. And he's kicked it. Two goals now to Nathan Burke as the Saints go to 5 7. Melbourne 4 5. And that was Shane Wakeland who got it across. Now, Wakeland's done pretty well up there at centre half forward. There's Luke getting a quick kick. Luke Beveridge. There's Wakeland. Bang, isn't that smart stuff? And that's his second goal, Nathan Burke. And he's showing leadership. So, eight points. Saints lead. Oh, free kick Todd Barney. He was grabbed when he didn't have a good umpire. Now, look at that 50 metre. We can't see people I'll describe. There is nobody in that 50 metre semicircle except Smith, who's on the lead now. Yeah, it's not going to get to him. That was a poor kick by Barney. Straight to Joel Smith. And he's got support from uh, Daryl Wakeland towards uh, half back. There's Turley. Now, they will get pinned for holding the ball here. You can bet on it. And they're, they're dynamite on that rule at the moment. <laughs> Turley didn't look too happy. Robert Neal's now picking up uh, Sean Smith, and Shanahan's going with Doyle. He should have made that move earlier. Harvey getting it towards uh, low, and the Melbourne players uh, lock it in at half forward. So it's a pretty tight game. St Kilda probably look slightly the better side, more dangerous side at the moment. And there's uh, Steins getting it to ground, then he tunnel balls it, and then. Umpire's found a free kick and it's going the way of uh, Andrew Obst. Good running here. Yes, it is. Goes wide to David Grant. He'll be trying his heart out against his old club who discarded him. And eventually trying to fist it around the boundary line was Clay Sampson. And he punches it over the line. And the sun coming out. Which is more than welcome. Mitch doesn't look too good, does he? he Seems to be holding a nice pack to his eye. Well, he got a good... You know, rather severe knock to the head, didn't he? 11 and a half minutes before half time. He'll be hoping to come back on before then. Sirikoski does well. Harvey, love it. Good tackle. Ball into the open. Courage needed well here. And well, that now that's deliberate. deliberate. That is deliberate. Mm. I don't suppose there was much Brett could do in that situation. While the throw-in takes place, let's go down to Curls. Any news from the rooms? Yes, Peter, as you call it, there's a knee injury yet to be uh, you know, thoroughly examined, of course, to the extent of it, but it doesn't look good for Winmar. And, of course, young Neitz has got a little bit of a bleeding in the eye, and uh, they're waiting for that to settle down. Thanks, Curls. Wakeland, 25 metres out, goes at goal. That's Shane Wakeland, and he has registered only one behind. Well, if he's so got bleeding in the eye, he won't be back on. His second? No, well, if it's bleeding from the eye, you think, well, it sounds fairly serious, doesn't it? You'd... Well, I had that once upon a time, and I know I was in hospital for a few days. You've just got to, you just got to rest. Five eight to four five. And, uh, it looks uh, well, a little bit of swelling there as well. Oh, Smith, big fly over the top. Couldn't drag it down. Burke has it socket away by Obst. Kick out of the pack comes up towards midfield. Obst goes inside of there and went down pretty quickly. Now Hilton gives the hand pass away, Bainey can't take back, it comes to Obst. Kickers to right half forward, Clarkson pinned, Hilton goes again, now Wakeland, and the Saints are going to come out, Tony Brown's kick up towards midfield, no mark taken, still they go, he gets it over to Burke, that was Brown, Centering kick from him. Trianides couldn't mark it. Love it. Desperate defence by the D's. Playing his 200th off. Oh. He fumbles at the crucial bit. Daniels has got him. Great tackle on the shoulder. Well, maybe a little bit of luck. And that's not arguing with the decision. Comes out wide to Uze. Uze now just up from the back pocket. Might have even conceded a few metres. One of the rookies in the Demon side. 
Well picked out, though. The hand pass comes away. That was from Sampson. Now the kick down towards half forward. Smith gets over run. Hilton, a snap. Off target. Now Smith's and down, Peter. Just he's inside. Now he's down. Now can he get up? Well, let's hope this isn't another serious injury. We'll call for the stretcher, I think. Look at this. He's going to get crunched here. Ooh. Is that Luke Beveridge coming now, tell through? Tell me this. Behind. Now, I, I want to ask a question. Why isn't that a free kick to Smith, the guy attacking the ball? They jumped into his back with knees and everything. It's a pretty fair question, actually. Now, well, the stretcher comes take, out. He wouldn't be able to take it anyway. Peter is in a lot of trouble. With the new rule, he has to go off on it, but he can't come back for 20 minutes. Oh. Well, I certainly agree with you, it was a free kick. Yeah, it wasn't paid. He wants to get up too, so... Now, he has to go off on the stretcher. Let's go down to Curls. Yeah, look, that, Pete, that was a real bad one. I heard the crack from here. Oh. Uh, it was a hit around the head area, and I think this boy's in real trouble. Gee, he's think... trying to get up, but uh, he's, he's pretty seriously hurt. At least he's still it was a conscious. loud crack. Well, gee. We've seen Windmore off with a knee. Well, here it is again. This is Jason Cripps coming in. Well, maybe it was... Well, really, that was kind of accidental when you really look at that. I mean, Cripps was going through, hit him, uh, and Robert Smith Neal. was Actually, always... Was Robert Neal. You know, Robert Neal was behind, but he was down, wasn't he? I'm not saying anything deliberate. All I'm saying is it should be a free kick to the bike playing the ball. been injury prone in his career Sean well, he's got that yeah. broken arm you see the guard on there and yeah. it looks like there's a facial problem facial in injury Gee, it's a but disaster at least day it's it a is a disaster day injury wise but what about that fantastic mark he took to, took to start the match and well we've lost Nicky Windmars Dewey Lowe cop one early Neats is off the ground with bleeding behind the eye and now Sean Smith the second stretcher case in this quarter you don't want to see any more of this well he won't be coming back well it's that sort of day because the ball is stopping, uh, packs are developing, and players are, well, they're, they're so desperate to get at the ball, they're crashing into one another. Well, Curl's heard a crack. I wonder what it was. His arm seems to be okay. I don't know whether it was I that again. Jaw. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Let's hope there's no more. Uh, Curls, anything you can add to what you told us before? Yes, it is around the head area, and that's where I saw it. It's accidental. It the poor kid. He was coming at the ball very strongly down low and uh, he just clipped the knee or sort of thigh of the other player around the head area. There was a definite crack and um, I'd say he'd have something broken around the jaw area. I I'm just surmising, but yeah. it's not good for that lad. Maybe a depressed fracture of cheekbone. Just something minor, yeah. yeah. Well, we may know more after half-time. It's a boundary throw it in the forward pocket. Viney, keen to make amends for a miss earlier. He has a snap, oh. but he's missed. And only one behind. Great attempt by Todd Viney. His first score of the afternoon. Scoreboard shows Melbourne 4-5, St Kilda 4-6 now, St Kilda 5-8. Well, there's nothing in it. St Kilda looked a more dangerous side. This Could be the survival of the fittest. That's right. Uh, Robert Neal, former Sydney Swan, has been in good form. He belts it out to the half-back line. Daryl Wakeland's there. Vince Nettlebeck. Now, it's knocked on by Beveridge. Around the boundary line it goes. Brett Lovett. Good oh. tackle. It was a terrific tackle. That was by Beveridge. Oh, some desperation. This is good, good play. Turley. That was uh, Lampel that got it to him. There's Craig Nettlebeck kicking it off the ground. And over the line at centre wing. So there's Craig Nettlebeck on screen, number 18. Uh, let's see the uh, ruck contest. Sirikoski versus Stein. Sirikoski takes front position, then two hands it. This is Sampson. Caught, holding the ball. He had plenty of time yeah. to get rid of it. They can't finesse around with the ball on a day like this as we see the kick from Daniels to Joel Smith. He marks. Centre wing. This is Jason Cripps. He belts it. In towards Joey Lowe, who attacks the ball and hucks it through his chest, and that's a good mark. Uh, Lowe, who had a spell on interchange when he was uh, hurt, will kick for his first. Well, he'll have to virtually kick this 50 metres. We've got the breeze behind him. And the good news is the sun is shining. 
here and make this, this Peter, because the breeze has come up a little bit. Oh, I think he'll make the distance, Don. His kicking's improved markedly, hasn't it, in the last couple of seasons? It certainly has. Just on 50, he kicks. Starts to swing it back with the breeze. It's a good-looking kick. To goal. So that's Stewie Lowe's first. And the Saints move to 14 points in front. But you wouldn't have thought this had happened the way that Melbourne started. Boy, did they start with a bang. Well, they've lost. They've really just clawed their way back in. I can't see any positional changes that have made any difference. Well, losing Sean Smith's not going to help the Demons cause, is it? And Neats. Neats. 14 points the difference now after that goal by Stewie Lowe. Clarkson tries to get clear. Had the ball and then finished up going without it. Now Turley gives it back to Doyle. Back to Turley. Gets clear of Joel Smith. Kicks inside 50. Courage needed here. It's one of those games. Whoa. Daniels puts his body on the line. So too does Lovett. Good tackle by Daniels. Opsters in there. Wakeland, Hilton, Burke. Oh. Real no big part and stuff. It's not pretty to watch, but I tell you what, it's good footy. A no. real old-fashioned <laughs> Donnybrook almost. It's probably the wrong word, but there's no love lost between the sides. There's four points up for grabs this afternoon. These two sides yet to record a win. And they're playing it as if it was the last Saturday in September. That's out of bounds on the full. And the free kick will be going down there to Clay Sampson. You know, I reckon these guys that are playing against their former club, boy, they try their hearts My out, My word, they? they do. My word, they do. They lift. Centering kick. Didn't come off. Harvey chips in in front of Clarkson to take the mark. This man's been a problem. Well, Harvey did that very, very well out to Burke. This is the man that's oh, a problem. Burke, Burke has been killing him as he drifts down and kicks it down towards the halfway line. Try and need his oh, free kick to Melbourne. Uh, thrown out of the action. It was uh, Hopgood. And it's, no, it's not. It's David Grant, in fact, number 16. Now he brings it out wide. This is Cowell. Chips it around. Daniels versus Turley. Daniels, oh, he's caught. Oh, good Gets tackle. in a hand pass, though. Sirikoski's caught. No, he shrugs the tackle. Wearing the number that his dad used to wear, number 13. His dad was Brian Sirikoski. Off the ground by Troanese. Lample will take this over the line, I would think. No, he won't. Well played, Joel Smith. Back it comes to Beveridge. He was clipped across the head. He got a little clip across the head. And the umpire, umpire Matthew Norton, spotted it. So this is Luke Beveridge. Lowers on the lead. He chips it out in front of him. Stewie Lowe, the big mitts go up. No free kick. Lample is there, knocks it out. Glenn Lovett trying his heart out. Lowe's got him, that could be holding the ball. Once you get it, you must handball it straight away. Or if you get grabbed, you're gone. Stewie Lowe, just inside 50, right on the boundary line. Leeds coming, well, here's a man on his own. Zilla, if he kicks it to him. Oh, oh. shocking <laughs> kick. Zilla was, oh, he threw that. Back to Lowe. Lowe brings it in front of uh, goal, and the mark is taken by Doyle. Right in the last line of defence. Now he too has got in short. Oh! oh and he just missed Keo. Or yeah. should it be the other way around? There's no love lost. <laughs> no love lost there between Keo and Biden. They're tough players. Why, why do your eyes light up when that happens? No, well, I like love to it. see a contest. Love it's <laughs> kicked to Clarkson. And that ricochets off Nettlebeck, who kicked two goals in the first quarter. And it's out of bounds next to the interchange gates. We've got five minutes before half time. I mentioned earlier that it's not pretty to watch, but it's a good game of footy because it's hard and it's tough. Throw in. Kick by Cripps is out of bounds. Is it on the full? I think it is. Yes, is the umpire. And that's going to be a Melbourne free kick, and the recipient is underneath the eve at the moment. I think it's Clarkson. No, it's not. It's Sampson. Clay Sampson. Short of right centre wing. Oh, he hugs the boundary line with the kick, knocked away by Wakeland. Ball shuffled out. Burke tries to pick up the rebound, Gee. and it's out of bounds again. Burke's He's been pretty had, busy. Well, Burke's had 13 kicks. 13 and uh, 1, 2 oh, marks. He's been good. So throw in again. Close to centre wing. Doyle at the back. Turley. Off one step. Left foots it up. Stewie low. What's he doing? Having a run on the ball, maybe. Cow underneath the ball. Chance for the D's. Kicked down by Uze. 
in the back free kick low Keogh he'll give it to Burke I can't believe that's not a free kick to Grant Burke runs it out kick number 14 that that's a free, free kick, kick surely Smith was looking for it so too with the St Kilda fans Inkerson in the meantime puts it back when it came Clarkson a lovely little book by the former North Melbourne player centering kick from him this should be a mark free Second. kick couldn't take it they're letting it go they've swallowed the whistles Cripps couldn't clear the zone inside 50 now Harvey a oh, brilliant hand pass by Harvey the low on to Daniels the umpires have forgotten about the whistle well as a matter of that's holding the ball no oh well Blows on the ball, they're giving Sirikoski a risk. I thought they might have been trying to save the game. There's only five minutes to go in this uh, quarter. And uh, Lowe was down playing as a loose man in defence, but now he's on the ruck. <laughs> oh, Doyle, that was an Academy Award too. And Lowe, Lowe looked at the up, I couldn't believe it. He's kicked it out wide. Oh, Turley has been... Turley's trying his heart out. Caught. Gets in a hand pass to Hilton. Oh, Hilton went without it. And he jumped into Cripps. The umpire's going to come out and probably throw the ball up. So, well, it's a, it's a good game to watch. My this. Word, these are terrific conditions. It's a to real play contest. Football. Real contest. That's a Shane Wakeland did that well to Keogh. Kicked it into the man. Tur Turley was grabbed. No, it's not Turley. I think it's probably Obst at the bottom of that pack, is it? Yep. Yeah, Andrew Obst, he and Turley. Same hairdo. Same. <laughs> well, that's all I could see. <laughs> and, uh, I knew it was one of the two, but up they go. Doyle flips it at the back. Sock it off the ground. Uze's very, very talented. And that's a good kick. Travelled about 40 metres. Nettlebeck. Good play by Nettlebeck. This deserves a goal. Here's Ops. Free kick. Oh, don't tell me. Yes, he is paying it. And he, he wasn't going to pay it at first. Oh, he was. He was, Peter. Well, why is Ops arguing with him? Well, he's asking. Uh, I Daniels think he was didn't late think it was a free it. kick. I really do. He called it straight away. Well, I was wondering why Ops is yelling at him. So no, Andrew Ops. He had the whistle because Daniels took off. So Ops still kicked for well, He won't, probably won't make the distance. 45. He's going for the short one. Now 50 metres, is What's it? What's that for? A holding decision in front of goal. And this could be a gimme goal. And now, in fact, oh, now he's and he threw the ball away. So now the kick is going to be taken right on the goal line for a gimme goal to Melbourne. Oh, boy. There's some feeling out there, and Keogh's they're having a go at him. Steins is telling Keogh, and there's a kick, and it's a goal. <laughs> there's a bit of feeling out there. They're giving it to Rodney Keogh. Obviously, he was the infringer, opened up his mouth. I just want to know who kicked the goal on. Yeah, I think it was Ops, wasn't it? Unless it was taken down the ground. Seacamp. So it was Seacamp actually had the kick in the end. Thank you very much. Like Seacamp's first goal. Well, Jimmy Steins would remember that day at Waverley when he stepped over the mark in that preliminary final. It's 5 6 to 6 8. Action packed game here at Optus Oval. I'll tell you what, there's not a big crowd here today, but they're getting their money's worth. Burke out of the congestion towards half four. Lovett went up one handed. Turley gets ridden into the ground. Ball still there to be won. Cowell, love it. Oh. Tries to measure the pass. Burke was in front. Now Sampson, Smith goes down, Burke's got Sampson. Gee, when they tackle, they're so strong, these guys nowadays, aren't they? That's uh, one facet of the gun that's really improved oh, over the years. I watched Hilton it? before, he threw down, I think yeah. it was Doyle, a big fellow. Oh. Sampson's kick up towards centre wing. Cripps off the ground, out of bounds. I think that was not on the floor, just landed inside. Oh, look at the mouthing off going on by Hilton and Cripps. And Melbourne have lifted this past five minutes. He's a confident youngster, isn't he? Cripps. I don't think uh, Jeff Hilton would back away either. Keo. Quick hand pass came out from Zilla. Whoa! Ball, ball still in the zone. Love it. Bounce is going to be a factor here. The D's can pick it up. Hopgood. Bounces. Whoa. And it bounces just wide of Shanahan. And Hopgood registering just the one behind. He wanted the uh, wrong and then instead of the uh, leg break. 
It's Isn't five, funny seven, when you come six, along eight. to a game not expecting much, you really do get a lot. Last night up at uh, Brisbane, you expect a lot, but you didn't get much. But here today, this is a real contest. Well, that's Zilla to Smith. Uh, Big Doyle's got to try and get Charles Smith. Oh, he's lost it. The cow. This has been a terrific five minutes by Melbourne. Glenn Lovett's been good. Now he's on centre wing. If they could sneak one before half time, well, it'll make a big difference. There's Cal. He's got the look of the pace. On to Glenn Lovett. Oh, he tries to beat the man. Steins has got to kick it. Oh, he's gone for the short one. It comes off. He finds Todd Viney, but gee, I've well, got he... less than a minute, only 36 seconds left. Well, I reckon they'll get a goal here because their last five minutes has been great, but oh. that was a poor kick by Viney. Very bad kick. He should have been belting it up to the goal square. Harvey towards the half forward line. Well played by David Grant. Locked it in. Trionides is there. Uze off the ground. So is Obst. And that's good play by Andrew Obst. He's a tough nut, Obst. He's a good player, isn't he? Yeah, he's a good. Look at him going again. He is fantastic, Andrew Obst. Well, you're tough from Port Adelaide. You've got to be tough, don't well, you? Well, he's got a heart as big as a grandstand. I reckon he does that week in, week yeah, out. Yeah, my word, Peter. So only nine seconds left. The clock has stopped for the boundary throw in, so we might have seen the last of the scoring. It's going to be Doyle and Shane Wakeland to contest the boundary throw in. And they can't get it out of there. Like ringside with the wrestlers. Well, what a half of football we've seen. The downside, the injuries to star players of both sides. Sean Smith who was carried off on a stretcher. Nicky Winmar, only minutes earlier, was carried off on a stretcher. We saw Stewie, uh, Stewie Lowe sidelined in the first quarter. Neitz, as Curl said, has got bleeding behind one eye. Probably won't come back. They're the minuses. The pluses have been, gentlemen, it's been a tough, uncompromising game of old-fashioned football, and I think that's what we do like to see. Well, that's right, Peter. It's a real contest, and as we said through the commentary, these teams are both playing for something. They haven't won a game yet, and uh, it's there to be grabbed. And uh, the way Melbourne came out of the blocks, it was just terrific. And uh, I couldn't see St Kilda getting back in. And I really don't know how they got back in. It was just old-fashioned grit that got them back. They clawed back. It was even a quarter time. Uh, they had the aid of the breeze in the second quarter, St Kilda. And they looked a much better side. But Melbourne lucky to get a goal. So at half time, it's a seven-point lead to St Kilda. The Saints 6 6-8. They've kicked 3-4 in each quarter, leading Melbourne 5-7, 37. Game starts for the third quarter. The Saints by seven points at the first few minutes here are going to be crucial. Burke went without it. He's been probably best on the ground so far with 15 kicks, one hand pass and two marks. And the umpire throws it up in the air again. All in this time. Sirikoski and Steins. Viney. Past ops. Zilla. Burke again. Back to midfield. Beveridge against his old side. One of them, he's had three. Oh, oh that is a very good mark to try and ease. And Pete, the ball's new too. It's an adverse weather uh, day and they're getting a new ball at the start of each quarter. So it's important you get the break and use this ball well early because as you saw then, it really did carry nicely from Beveridge to try and ease. He's kicked one goal, two. The goal he did kick was from the pocket at this end. Now he's drawn that one back. It's coming back, but not quite far enough. And Steins... Punches the ball clear and over the line for a throw-in next to the behind post. Neil Curley? Pardon? Yes, uh, any more news down there, Neil? Yeah, we have, Pete. Uh, uh, Smith is OK. It's incredible. So it must have been something else that was hit there and uh, needs to patch his eye up and he's OK as well. Well, that's great. Thanks for that. Clarkson's kick. Tried to find Uze. A little bit too far for him. And McLaren right on his hammer. Sees the ball safely out of bounds right on 50. So uh, about 55 metres out from the St Kilda goal, the all-important third term, Steins versus Sirikoski. Steins took it out to Neitz. Glenn Lovett smothered by Keogh, kicked away from Brett Lovett. There's oh. uh, Neitz thrown to ground. Trionides gets in a hand pass. Wakeland, Shane Wakeland, a quick kick and he's kicked it. So a very important goal to start the third term. Up into the breeze, kicked by Shane Wake. Well, the unspectacular stuff was done by a little guy that I like, uh, Keo. He was the one who got it going first, then lays the tackle. And watch him, he'll get up here and throw another Shepherd on Neats, which allows Wakeland to get his kick. They're the little things that just 
will never be recorded, Peter, on the statistical sheet. Quite right, Don. Shane Wakeman's goal makes the difference. 13 points now at Optus Oval. Love it to Steins. Steins had a great first quarter. Can he get them going once more? Seacamp couldn't take the mark. Harvey goes off the ground. Uze tries to bend it back. Just not quite far enough. Ball still in play. And the Saints should be able to take it away. They do from McLaren now. Now it comes to Joel Smith. Sampson's there. Burke tries to go off the ground. Opens it up for Smith. Wearing Tony Lockett's old number. Or Daryl Borlock, if you want to go back even further. He was one of the stars with that. And Barry Breen also had it for a while too, didn't he? He did. Sirikoski's kick up towards midfield and Keogh. Keogh to half forward. Waited. Couldn't quite tap it. A little bit further out than before. Turley. Now back to Neitz. An infringement on centre wing, a holding decision. Yes, against Wakeland. And it's going to Nettlebeck. Nettlebeck kicked two goals in the first quarter, and they were both excellent goals. Craig Nettlebeck too far out to score here. Close to half forward, between wing and half forward. With the breeze at his back. Down the centre of the ground, Burke stands his ground well and takes the mark. Well, just watching him then, he uh, put himself in that hole at half back as a loose man. Shanahan. Out to Joel Smith. He's a dirty day, isn't he? Smith. Yeah, he's been fairly quiet. He's got a lot of talent. Now, Todd Viney. Over to Alistair Clarkson. They need a goal here and they might get it because Doyle leads out. Oh, he's gone for the chip pass. This could be dicey because it's the worst angle. Over? Yes, I was just going to say, Peter, why would he go over there? Well, he's gone to Steins, who's definitely closer, but certainly on a, a far worse angle than what Doyle was. Jimmy loves to kick a goal. Well, I haven't seen him kick too many Steins in his career, so he's certainly interesting to see what he does. He enjoys it when he does. Now, he's not far out. He stabs. He might have just missed it. He oh, yes. missed by a fair way. And, uh, well, I really think Doyle, when you mark 40 metres out directly in front, should have a, a shot. And it comes to Robert Neal. Uh, Neal's got a loose man out wide. And we find him. He will. This is uh, Cripps. Jason Cripps runs away and a driving kick right over centre wing. Neats put himself in front. Was grabbed. Free kick. Now the advantage. No, no advantage. So it'll come back. To David Neitz. And Neitz had a sit on the bench with that injured eye. Seems to be okay now. No mark taken. Beveridge. Ridden into the ground by Hilton. Ball jarred free. Good hand pass. Comes down in the direction of Nettlebeck again. Can he kick his third? It's going close. Don't I think he's me. got it. He has. Well, you've seen three of the best goals you'll see for a long time from Nettlebeck today. They were, they have been sensational goals. Couldn't disagree with oh, you, Doc. Great stuff. He kicked two in the first quarter. What a good hand pass it was from Lovett. And look, on the run from outside 50, the angle... Whoa, what a great kick. Well, I can't believe well, this. Short Smith. I cannot believe this. Well, I thought he'd be in hospital by now. But he's back on the ground, Sean Smith, and that's good news for Melbourne. There's Beveridge getting it to Joel Smith. Smith looking for Wakeland. Neitz is there also. He's a good player, David Neitz. Now, what happened there? He was held to him. Neitz seemed to stop as if he heard a whistle. Do you think these players... I can't get out. I... You don't like this when they go down go off, off the stretch and, and then come on. back on. Oh. I know that, Don, as it's uh, punched back towards Glenn Lovett. On to Turley, who's tried very hard. Dangerous hand pass. Ops went in hard after it. And it'll be a bounce in front of the St Kilda goal. While we're down, while we're just a little break in play, let's ask Neil Curley. Neil, what's your opinion of guys going off like this? What, Smith? Well, Smith and Lowe, and then they're back on as if nothing's happened. Well, I guess with that, that's, that's the advantage of the interchange bench today. Go and check them but out. that's not what I'm asking you, Neil. What? What are you asking me? Well, I'm asking you, what do you think about it? In years gone by, they'd stay on and play. Well... Today, with modern uh, med medical opinion, they take them off, check them out, and then put them back on. Okay. Nothing wrong with that. Lowensteins at the boundary. Harvey. Obst, love it. It's all tied up again. The Lumpire Dennis Rich will come in and warm it up. 
15 minutes left in the third term. Robert Harvey, by his standards, I suppose, has had a fairly quiet day of five and seven so far. Steins and Wakeland. Love it. Playing his 200th is caught. Breeze getting strong at two and favouring the end of which Melbourne are kicking. Wakeland and Steins once more. Love it. Gets it back to Turley. Smith overran it. Keo. Now Daniels. Couldn't do much with it. Still can't do much with it. Lovett tries to cover an assist. Harvey. Fires out a hand pass. Zilla. Up to the goal square. Burke. Look at Ops. Oh, going in solidly. So too is Lovett. Did he get one high? Uh, look at him, uh, Andrew Ops. I don't want to labour the point, but he and Turner have been boring into those packs. 15 metres out. A ball up. Burke and Obst. Well, they've carried it forward about another five metres. And the umpire's going to bounce it or throw it in the air right next to the behind post. Steins with low. Kicked out of the danger zone. Beverage. Obst again. Ready of St Kilda players. All they've got to do is pick it up. McLaren turns on a threepenny bit. Into low. Off hands. Grant against his old side. Not too many options open for him there, David Grant. But he grubbed it along the ground and got it out of the danger zone. It will be thrown in about 45 metres from goal. Smart play by Grant. He was a very good player for St Kilda for a number of years, David Grant. Shane Wakeland. And Parkling play on. And a free kick going Melbourne's way here. Too high, I think, on Glenn Lovett. Come on, Glenn, you got Steins by himself. And he's found him, Jimmy Steins. Very mobile for a big man. Oh, he's going to dodge and weave. Gives it to uh, Brett Lovett. Brett Lovett brings it to Neats. It's wide, no mark. And the ball comes off the hands of Cripps. And it'll be a throw in on centre wing. A good, old-fashioned, tough football game. The Saints lead by six points. Steins and Sirikoski. Obbs comes over the back to thump it. Now it's Daniels. Now Turley. Should have kicked it, but he gives it to Viney. On the Wuze, the lead is on. Smith. Can't mark. Still a chance to uh, Smith. Hooks it out. Clarkson on the left foot. Kicks it high, wide and handsome. Oh, not too handsome. Wuze is a very smart player, isn't he? Clever. Well, I haven't seen Melbourne oh, for a long time, but I'm impressed with Wuze. Well, there's Marcus Seacamp on screen. I remember they had Jeff Tunbridge in the 1950s. Now, this is a lot, it was only a little kid, Pete, so don't look at me like that. <laughs> and he was a little bit like Uze. A very elusive half forward. And here play. he is, Uze. Oh, he was racing in the goal. And a free kick has been paid against Clarkson for holding on Daniels. So Jack Daniels, a most improved player, one of the best taggers in the game now. He can run all day. Gets it to Sirikoski. Zurikowski's kick to centre wing. A marking contest there. Wakeland was up in front. Neitz is there as well. On the ground is number 15, Hopgood. And it's going to be a ball up right next to the interchange gates. 11 minutes left in the third term. Five points the difference. Steins tries to bolo it out to one of his teammates. Didn't succeed in getting very far. Target was probably too early, but it missed him by a good margin. Certainly miss Gary Lyon down that forward line, haven't they? That yeah, little bit of class. Lyon out indefinitely with a back injury, and that's bad news for Melbourne. Neats to Uze. Uze's kicked out to the 50-metre line. Oh, good mark taken by Wakeland to McLaren. Brushes one tackle over the head of Clarkson. Keogh gives it back to him. In fact, it's Zilla. Zilla's kick up towards centre wing. And the 200th game of Brett Lovett takes the mark. He's done all right today too, Brett Lovett. You're a real club loyal loyalist, we'll call him. Viney. Todd Viney. Late start for the year with tennis commitments. 
almost to mark down there to Nittlebeck, not in the end. And Craig Nittlebeck with three great goals against his name. Can only give the ball back to the umpire for a bounce right on the edge of the centre square. Six kicks from which he's kicked three goals, Nettlebeck. Knocked away by Sirakoski. Past Lovett. Viney's got it. Daniels has got him. Keo's in a position to get a hand pass out. But the umpire. It's a Melbourne kick, isn't it's it? It's a Melbourne kick, I think. Oh, yes. Yeah, he's he, he pointed yeah. the wrong way. Yeah. Viney's going to get the free kick. And he gives it away to Obst. Planted a couple of Port Adelaide Premiership sides. Kicks it down to Sean Smith. The miracle man. The million dollar man. Carried off. Up he gets. Even those chest marks, Donny, he, he leaps up high, doesn't he? Well, he's got plenty of room to move, and it looks as if he's fully recovered after that, Peter. So, Sean Smith, five kicks, six marks, and they've all been very, very spectacular for a day. Most players would say is not conducive to high marking. Smith has made liars of them. He could have had a couple more. He's kicked two goals, three. Oh, that's a shocker. Unless it bounces over, and it won't. And the Saints should be able to get clear. Beveridge, Silva, Shanahan, or oh, they're making heavy weather of this. Off the ground, Clarkson's kicked the goal. Well, St Kilda really did muck that up. There were two of them there. Shanahan was one, and I think it might have been Zilla. Both had hands on the ball, couldn't decide who was going to get it. Here it is, here it is, Zillo. Look. <laughs> And then he goes through his leg, Shanahan. Clarkson off the ground. There was a good little toe poke there. Kick from Hilton is on screen. He, he enjoyed that. Had a bit of a dust up with a couple of St Kilda players. Being a former one himself. A point the margin in favour of the Demons. Stides versus Sirakoski. Sirakoski won it with the left hand. Here's Zilla. Quick hand pass. Ooh. Quick kick comes down towards half four. It's a free kick actually to Nathan Burke. So Burke brings it to half four low in front. Ingerson not doing a bad job down there. Here's a chance off the ground by Beveridge. Waiting for it is Neats. That's a very quick hand pass. And he had support down there. And the hurry kick comes right out towards half back. Uze was there. Now it's Brett Lovett. Back it comes to Cowell who gave that original kick around the boundary line. Here's Keo running onto his left boot, kicks it up high, hoping Lowe can come out and take a mark, but he's caught behind. There's Neat's desperation stakes at the moment. Vital few minutes coming up. Daniels went for a fresh air shot. Wasn't intentional, <laughs> tried to kick it, but he did miss. And uh, look at the desperation of Neats. Well, the game, not too many great skills out there, but it's close, it's hard, it's tough. 7-9 to 7-8. Can't get much closer. Surakoski went in hard. He's on the bottom of the pack. Finally gets scooped out sideways. Brown tries a hand pass. Didn't get very far. In he goes again, Tony Brown. Hilton's in there. Steins is in there. Clarkson, Cow. <laughs> Neil Baum goes for the phone. Give me something. Daniel's up high. Beveridge. Kick is smothered by Clarkson. He kicked the last goal. Excellently done, Alistair Clarkson. At the back of Zilla. The punch effective. Keo looks for a teammate in a better position. McLaren can't find some space. Needs to get on the accelerator. Back it comes to Uzo. Over the head of Clarkson this time. He'll need to be quick. The boundary line is too close. And he takes it over in front of Surakoski for a throw in on centre wing. Seven minutes remaining in the term. Stan Elves and Gary Colling looking on interestedly. Steins. Oh, Obst. Hacks it out of mid-air. Hilton. Jones. No, not Jones. It was uh, Joel Smith. And the bounce or ball up on centre wing. You're loving this, Scotty, well, aren't I'm you? I'm just thinking, I haven't seen a game like this for a no. long time. I mean, the conditions are aiding the play, but boy, so a tough start. Steins. A free kick to Steins in the ruck contest against Sirakoski. He's arguing, see, a lot of the players don't know what they're for at times as we see Steins down towards half-forward, holding Nettleback. 
Oh, they're both pushing and shoving. The umpires played the free well, kick. it's great to see the umpires. They, they did it last night. It's holding. Oh, I had the glasses on that incident, Don. The umpire was in perfect position. Exactly to see right, that. Peter. Let's you see, see there the arm wrapped around. Yes, ping the man. And let's Ooh. make it body on body the way it used to be. It's called holding the man. He was oh. holding him, Pete. Six and one half dozen. Oh, the other. oh that Peter, guy. stand uh, up. Nettlebeck put his arm back, and oh. the, I think he did it well. He, he oh. did it very, very well. Nettlebeck from directly in front, 40 metres from goal. A vital kick coming up, and he puts it over the fence. Beautiful kick. A great little bit has kicked four in a very good display. And Melbourne sneak away to a seven-point lead, but they are kicking with the breeze. Let's look at it again. Well, the arm goes back by Nettlebeck. See that? Back he goes. He's holding it yeah, there. But he's not holding, Peter. He's kind of pushing off the oh, guy. No. And it was Wakeland that was doing the yeah. holding. Probably. Well, he was holding him. Should have been in front, Wakeland. Bit of both. Should have got to the front. That's right. So back to the centre. The D's with a useful lead. Steins. Out of the centre. Sean oh. Smith, the million dollar man. Clarkson through his legs. He might get a second chance. Tries to get it out to Lovett. Harvey. And Saints will get it away. It's kicked out by Neil. No oh. Umpire lets it go. Uze overruns it. It's out of bounds. On the full. That's going to be a free kick to St Kilda to be taken by McLaren. McLaren at right centre wing up, might be out of bounds as well. It is. See little things are going Melbourne's way, aren't they, now that they've lifted. Love it. will take the free kick. Lowe will stand the mark. It's 57 to 50. He's off. Lowe can't catch him. The two lovers. Brett does the shepherding. The 200 gamer. Kicks down to where Stein's punches from Sirikoski. Obst tries to get it out. Turley, tackled by Daniels. Too high, and you're free. Advantage is paid. Hopkin, oh, what a turn of speed he's got. A one-on-one -on -one contest. And Shanahan and Smith do battle as the ball crosses the line in the forward pocket, 15 metres from the behind post. That's where you wanted a forward. Uh, as Hopkin came down, you wanted a forward coming straight up the middle in a low pass. But if they can get a couple before uh, three-quarter time, St Kilda will find it very difficult. There's Doyle, a good tap in front of goal to Clarkson. Back to Obst. Obst around the corner. Oh, it's another one of the Demons. A great couple of minutes this by Melbourne. Top goal to Obst, who's worked very, very hard in this game. Well, he has worked hard. There's a good head out over the back. There's Doyle, maybe... Second chance, ball comes out. A lot of pressure there. You can see the ops very quickly onto the boot, ball over left shoulder. Great snap. Well, Melbourne trailed at half time 37 to 44, and with Smith off the ground, you were thinking, well, perhaps the D's have run their race. Not so. Ops again with the chance. Looks for the long hand pass. Away they go again. Turley, long up towards full forward. They might take it. Barney! transformation 10-9 to 7-8 well St Kilda look as if they had it in the second quarter but then again this left of screen goal is the one that it, they're doing all the scoring so St Kilda will be coming home with it scores were tied at uh, quarter time St Kilda got away in the second quarter but only led by seven points so they've thrown up again Turley and Obst have been fantastic in the clinches. And look at that. Obst putting on the tackle again. Now back it came to Zilla. Down towards half a lot. Low off the ground. Oh, oh don't tell me what a great goal. <laughs> Terrific goal to low. His second. Against the forward play, Stuart Lowe has belted it off the ground, kicked his second. Well, that's luck. Look at this. A high ball out, lay first to recover, then straight through everybody. And it finds the goals. That is a very valuable goal to Stuart Lowe and St Kilda. Still three kicks behind, Pete. Well, they, they are 56 to 69. It's 13 points, Don, but it stopped the flow. So the Saints answer. Four minutes left in the term. Keogh to Burke. 17 kicks. It is a free kick. 
umpire lets it go. Uze, although his left foot, and he did well in that tight Spot. situation. Down towards half forward, the ball takes a left-hand turn, but excellent work by Adam Uze to get it down there in the first place. Well, he's got class written all over him, that kid. Now that you're a youngster and a rookie, whichever way you look at it, throw in 65. Actually, the boundary umpires brought it back a little bit further. About 70 metres from goal. The Melbourne goal. Bit of jostling there. Daniels, Zilla. Obst has got him. Still Daniels. Obst again with a good tackle. Now, is that out of bounds on the floor? Or no. Real line ball, that one. But he's a, he sticks to the mic glue, Jason Daniels. He can run all day. One of the fittest players down at St Kilda. And he can wear you out. Stein just had a great match. Burke, fresh air shot. Keo. Oh, too high. Against Obst. Keo will take the free kick at right half back for Saints. Three minutes and 20 seconds, then the quarter. And like the first two before it, it's been an action packed affair. It's a great uh, tribute to his courage, too, because he had an operation. He did his knee pre season. Now he's just got bone on bone in the knee. And there's no cartilage there at all. Oh. Fantastic mark, dragged in down there by David Neitz. What a comeback from him. Oh, what a mark in front of Lowe, too, which makes it even better. Now, 50, 50 metres, he said Lowe ran over the mark. A big chance here for Melbourne. He'll kick way down here at half foot. He well, won't make the right distance. On the line, won't he? Well, he doubt. Oh, he might make the distance. No, he'll have to kick 57 metres. So you would agree that he's back, though, Pete. Yeah, you wouldn't back him. But at least it will be down but the in the holes that. there, Peter, and, he, and they can lead into that hole. So it's pretty crowded. And Leeds is looking for a short one. Obster's on his own. There's Sean Smith. There's Ops. And Smith <gasps> lying. Couldn't quite hang on to it. Ozzie Jones is in there, number 29. Socket off the ground by Smith. Sirakoski's caught. Here's Nettlebeck trying to get it out. The loose ball, very important. Hopgood latches onto it. He tries to bend it back. One behind only Melbourne. 10-10 to 8-8. It's going to be... Uh, this breeze getting stronger too, Peter. It's more as coming across the ground, maybe favouring the end to which Melbourne is kicking. It's getting colder too. That's Cripps. Cripps' kick to the centre wing. Love it late on the scene. Brown gets cutted into. Back it comes to Daniels. Love it. Oh, Joel sure. Smith, back to Brown. At the centre wing, Hilton. Centering kick, Tom Barty, who kicked a goal this quarter. Well, Melbourne playing on confidence now. A trail by seven points at half time. This is Uze. He goes long towards goal, looking down there for Doyle. Couldn't take it. Wakeland, and McLaren. Trips it was. Shanahan, a fumble. Still he goes, he has grabbed but he didn't have it, he must get a free kick. The advantage is played, Burke takes advantage, kicks up the Joel Smith, he gets on his bike quickly, goes for the fans, he does, kicks down the full forward, and the mark is taken by. Oh look, he can go over the top here. He goes to Harvey, Harvey in a goal, and kicks it, here come the six. What's the difference? 10-10 to 9 -8. Gee, both sides will not lay down. Melbourne in control, and now St Kilda are coming back into it. This is a good game of footy. That's fantastic, and look at this. A good play, an unselfish play by Wakeland to go over the top here to Harvey. But going back down the other end, Uze broke away on his own, and he could have given it to Smith. That's bad forward play when you just blaze away from 70 metres. The throw up, Doyle in the ruck. Been a good couple of minutes now for St Kilda. Todd Viney receives from Glenn Lovett. They need someone to take a mark. Sean Smith is there. He's got it. Hooks it out. Here's a chance. Hilton around the corner on the left foot. It bounces. It's a goal. This is a very, very good game of football. Goal for goal. It's tough. It's hard. And two of the sides that haven't won a game. But it's terrific to watch. Yes, very scrambly going onto his left foot, Hilton. He's normally the right foot kick. But gee, they've been quick goals, haven't they? Been good, good footy. 
A minute to go in the third quarter. The difference is back out to 14 points now. Doyle, Viney, your court, good tackle, Keo, Hilton, Burke. And let it go, Sirikoski. Quick kick up towards Trianides. Now Cal, oh, he's oh. slung, gets his kick in. Mark taken by McLaren, no, not according to the umpire. Uze, punched eventually. Good tackle by Obst on Harvey. It is. I reckon Obst must have had... Well, how many tackles have we got him down for? Let's see if we can find him. Tackles five. That's not bad. Yeah, well, it seems like about 25. Doyle and Sirikoski. Good punch. Doyle wins it oh. well. A little flip up. Turley. Open spaces at half forward. Oh, Daniels! Great tackle! Yeah. Oh, son! But also, Nathan Burke was in there as a two on one. Oh, it's a box on. Right on the siren. Oh. Is this a melee, Pete? Oh. Well, how many have we got there? <laughs> Count the legs and divide by two. Just let it. There's nothing happening here. I agree with you, Don. Oh, gee, they report these things. It's ridiculous. I agree with you. That's uh, it's part of footy. It's nothing a, in it. Nothing sinister there. No, but a couple of fiery customers, just the same. In, uh, well, Jeff Hilton, Alistair Clarkson, and Dennis Rich having a few words. I don't think anything uh, untoward happened there. The good thing is, we've got a terrific footy match, and there's plenty left in it yet. At three quarter time, it's Melbourne, 11 10 76, St Kilda, 9 8 62, and we'll be back for what promises to be a most exciting final quarter after this. From the Optus Oval, the Bees leading by 14 points, trying for their first win of the year. Likewise, St Kilda, the Rucks go at it, Surakoski and Steins. Melbourne almost out of the centre, but not quite. And the Saints also, as I said, trying for that. The four points. Burke, he's been excellent today. Harvey, he's been quiet. A great tackle by David Grant. He loved that against his old side. Clash of heads. Grant against uh, Harvey. Harvey holding his. He's had a quiet day today, Robert Harvey. Clarkson. Neats, yes, no, not according to the umpire. Must have nearly held it long enough. And Trionides wearing him like a glove down there. Only marked to David Neats, but he spent a lot of time on the bench today. A clash of heads earlier. He injured an eye. Surakoski a chance. Lovett was there. Ball pushed out the front to Obst, who's also been pretty good. How did he get a kick out of that? Obst, brilliant stuff. Shanahan. Has to try to go for the boundary. Nettlebeck is there. Keeps it in place. Kick for Nettlebeck. And the hand pass ineffective. It's out of bounds right on 50 for a throw in. And you can see Nathan Burke there working away at the Willies. Now down the uh, back line. He was down the forward line a moment ago. He gee, works hard. Covers a lot of territory. There's Nettlebeck trying to flick it over the back. Uze hooks it out. That was intelligent play. That's Turley, who's been very, very good number eight, and so is Daniels, and they force it over the line. That was good umpiring to let that go. Nine and 14, Turley. It is, and, well, it's hard to get away from Daniels, and Turley's been terrific. Glenn Lovett. I thought he put the St Kilda player fairly high then. The crowd thought so. But the umpire's going to throw it up again. Even Stevens in my book at the moment of the game. Kilda kicking with the breeze, but Melbourne will be very, very desperate. There's Steins. Daniels goes in after it. Quick kick comes out of that pack. Here's Andrew Obst again. Couldn't pick it up. Look at Harvey go. He's got support from Zilla. Zilla grabs it and hooks it back towards half forward. Oh, Neitz. there's a free Some kick. Holding sure. on. I think they were both doing a bit of holding well, as we see. Neitz and Wakeland. Wakeland over the top to Joel Smith. Here's a chance. Smith into an open goal. On the left goes Bang and puts it through. The one they wanted. So that's a very good start to St Kilda. They wanted a quick run. They're eight points down. Well, he's been a little quiet, Joel Smith. He really set a high standard last year, but that was a good hit out by hand from Wakeland. And he's done well, Wakeland, as centre half forward. Well, they've certainly shared their goals around the Saints. Eight goal kickers now, only two have got two. Nathan Burke and Stewie Lowe. 
76 to 68, the Saints right back in this contest. Bidey, who brought Melbourne back in the third quarter. Bidey's kick up towards full forward. Plenty of weight being used in the packs there. Hilton it was off the ground. And it beats himself over and Sean Smith. Well, it's interesting, Neil. I've watched the last uh, couple of hit downs, and what Steins is doing is putting it right from where he's come, and Viney's getting underneath. Viney got it out that time. It just didn't quite come out for the first time, so that maybe that's the tactic they're trying to do, bring the ball back. Doyle and Wakeland. Doyle again, good hit out out the back. Just missed Viney. And the Saints defence able to tie it up early in the final quarter. <laughs> Nathan Burke, what a game he's having. Wouldn't you have bet he'd be at the bottom of yep. that pack? Those stats on the story. Well, those little guys always are. Liber and Johnny Platten. Doyle again. He's hooking it over his back quite well. Love it. More in hope than anything. Turley. Daniels, will he try to take it over the line? Well, that's deliberate, is it not? No, I think he definitely tried to turn. Oh, I think under these conditions, you'd have to He's give himself, the player the benefit. Himself. Mind you, I think it was deliberate. <laughs> I was asking the question. You give them a bit of latitude on that one. So throw in, knocked down by Obst. Burke off the ground. The tackle applied by Keo. A vice-like grip. <laughs> Harvey's in there as well. It's been a top game. Hasn't been pretty to watch. But it really has been a terrific contest from go to nearly woe. There's a Don Scott style of uh, game. This look at Doyle. Straight to Burke. Back it comes. Sampson has taken the mark. Now, if I was him, I'd be belting it up in the goal square here. That's the way to do it. Up in front of goal. Smith is there. Oh, almost got second bite to it. Obst. Tackle. Smith. <laughs> Glenn Lovett's in there. And the umpire will come in and throw it up again. Oh, this is good stuff. Winmar off the ground, it looked like a serious knee injury, let's hope not. But sort of needs a moment to go a close-up of him, and his left eye looked almost closed. So, uh, he's playing under difficulties. Here's Viney around the corner, and he's kicked it behind. One goal, two to Todd Viney. So, 11-11, plays 10-8, plenty of time left, seeing a great game. Burke kicks in, nine points the difference. Keo likes his game. Up towards midfield. Austin Jones. Not a mark, but will get the free kick. So Aussie Jones from midfield or short thereof. Opportunity for Brown. Scoops it up pretty quickly. McLaren. Tough and uncompromising in the clinches. Oh. Gee, it's tough. It's like, <laughs> it's like rugby union, this. <laughs> Here's Madnirai and Andrew Obst again doing a lot of the heavy stuff. It's probably, well, it doesn't come up on the stat sheets, but you'd expect that from a Port Adelaide boy, wouldn't you? Turley, Hopkins. Not so much on offer. Probably Uze was the nearest player, but he was quite content to go for the boundary line and throw in on centre wing with under 15 minutes left. Centre wing, as Peter said, and Sirikoski to take on Steins. Steins tried to hook it with a left hand. This will be a throw up. No, the umpire let it go. Here's Ops trying to get his boot to it. Glenn Lovett off the ground. Here's Cripps. Oh, tried to belt it to the boundary line. Shanahan does. And uh, well, they, they gained about 30 metres in uh, Melbourne, so they're sneaking around. There at the 50 metre mark. Nine points the margin. Next goal, vitally important. Socket away by Luke Beveridge, and he gained about 20 metres. Vitovic warming up, so they're going to give Surikoski a rest, I suppose. Uh, Vitovic was cut up early by, um, and there's Barb, by Steins. And there's Eddie Milai down there, former VFA star with Dandy Nong for many, many years. Now, Clarkson tried to belt it off the ground. He does. Here's Ozzie Jones. On to Shanahan. Shanahan on the left. The race is on. Who's going to get there first? Joel Smith is. Just took his eye off it for a split second. Oh, good shot. Oh! oh. Cool apart. That was hip and shoulder. No, that was hip. Now, there was nothing wrong that with that. That was hip and shoulder. 
and the umpire has paid the free kick. He might have paid a charge or something, but... Oh, I don't let this in. It looked uh, hip and shoulder. It was old-fashioned hip and shoulder. It was a, a very hard shepherd. It was off the ball. Oh. What did it, you, Neil Curley, what did you think? Yes, it was a, a good hard hip and shoulder bump, but unfortunately he contacted the boy around the head. And, of course, that's a free that's, kick in today's umpiring. Let's have a look at it, Don. What do you well, think? here it is here, both running for the ball. Look, he's kept his shoulder down. That was a real Top heavy line. shepherd. A real heavy shepherd. Now he's uh, badly hurt, concussed by the look of it. Tony Brown, I think. This is, did have third, his elbow is this the third or fourth time I've seen the oh. stretcher on, on today? I haven't seen the stretcher come on like this ever, I'd say ever. Well, well, here it is once again on replay. Down the other end there's a scrap on in the goal square. There's Viney who's just hip and shoulder, a very strong shepherd. The umpire down the other end, breaking up a little bit of a wrestling match. Wakeland and Seacamp. Well, it's one of those things that they'll look at on video later, but as we saw, the arm was definitely down. I suppose you'd have to argue with that the ball was within the required distance then, don't you? Well, it was a uh, shirt front. It's the old-fashioned shirt front. Yes, but you can't do that unless the ball is within five well, metres. Well, I thought it was within five metres, Peter. Point of contact, I don't think, is in question here. We have to ask ourselves where the ball was, because he did have his elbow down, certainly as I saw it. Well, if that's the case, it's reportable. It's a charge in. Would that if, be if, right, if Peter? If the ball wasn't within the required distance, it would be a charge, Don. Yes, I agree with that. It's certainly live and sea camp up down there. See Wakeland and Sea Camp Wakeland. having a bit of a it was that a do? very, very hard knock, wasn't it? <laughs> it was uh, the shoulder was dipped and he hit him with everything. And there. he's a solid man, Barney, too. I'll say low yes. to the ground, low centre of gravity. Well, I've never seen a game like this with so many injuries. There's so many guys taking hard knocks. Stretcher. Well, we've said right throughout the day it has been a, an uncompromising affair. Wakeland. And Shane Wakeland takes the kick up towards centre half forward. Good mark is taken by Andrew Ox, certainly one of Melbourne's best players today. Well, look, he mightn't have the best stats. In my opinion, he's nearly best man on the ground here, Nathan Burke. There's Neitz. Oh, he was pinned. He said he was held too long. Held the ball too long. Daniels has hurt himself too. Now, here's a full oh. That'll be holding the ball. I can't believe See, the this tackling is unbelievable. Oh, boy. I'll tell you what, there's no room out there for faint hearts. That was Joe McLaren, young player. Hilton, all oh, Melbourne are playing with some passion. So are St Kilda. Here's Nettleback flying. Couldn't take the mark. Todd Viney. Turley. Steins can kick a goal. He toe pokes it. He's missed. Oh, that's a vital kick, that one. That could have made it very hard for St Kilda. Should have kicked that one, Steins. He was on his own. Two behind, Jim Steins kicked. He's been a great player today, Steins. One of his better games in recent times, you would think. 11 and 7, four marks. Zilla. Oh, oh, he's, he's gone. gone, he's gone. Yes. Seacamp's off. Goes a goal. Gee, there's a lot of feeling out there. It was a great kick out from full back. Zilla took the mark, then tore. Oh, <laughs> watch it, watch it. Well, what happened? Clarkson went up to Zilla and told him, well, that's your goal. And, of course, no player likes to be told that. Uh, two little goers there on screen. So, back to the centre. Oh, gee, Melbourne are playing with enormous passion. Turley has been fantastic. He and Obbs, I repeated myself today. Here's Obbs. They go forward again. Oh, Obbs, yes, he did know that it was his kick. Down towards half forward. Good, mate. And a mark. 
has been taken down there by Wakeland. And this is Darrell Wakeland, number 15, one of the twins. He drives it out the centre wing. He's looking out here for Keogh. There's Glenn Lovett. He forces it to the line. Gee, the way it's going at the moment, you're nearly back, Melbourne, but well, there's plenty of time. The the six 16 points of difference. What's that? Four kicks. Stones and Surikoski. I think can both of them have sleep pretty well tonight. Viney might have given away a free, has he, in the back? No. Saints fans roaring their disapproval of that. And I think if Melbourne win, it'll knock a few tipsters out of the tipping cops well, this weekend. I must admit I went for the Saints. Most people yeah. would have, yeah. It's a free kick now. And I'll tell you what, isn't Winmar a huge loss to them when he's not out there? Yeah. Guess who's got it? Well, well, he, Obston, uh, Turley have been fantastic They're around the middle, and Brett Lovett, haven't they? Viney, Lovett, has taken the mark in front of Burke. It's Glenn Lovett. Pretty good stats too. Clarkson. And they're bringing it across the ground. Now Hilton, not Hilton, Hopgood, two blondes. Hopgood's kick up towards centre half forward. What I want you all down there. Joel Smith gets it out. Beveridge. Oh, he's oh. gone. Oh, good tackle. Now the D's can go back into attack. Stones, a little bit of Gaelic football there almost as he gets it out to Clarkson. They're playing with a lot of confidence, Melbourne. He's going to bring it back the other side now. Ops has got it. The hole's got to be blocked up because that's where it's going. Steins almost. Smith. Ball held to him. And the umpire is going to bounce it. We've got 11 minutes Smith, left in this match. Back to Neil Curley. Yes, Peter. Well, yes, Winmar has been taken to the hospital for a thorough examination. Young Brown might be coming back on. He was concussed severely. And, of course, we go back to... Um, Neil Barnes early planning that they thought they'd be strong in the packs. Well, here's are, Clarkson. Right? Clarkson stops. That's another one. Oh boy, have they lifted Melbourne? They are playing great team football. Well, they're playing real tough football. As a matter of who was going to crack, and it's been uh, St Kilda. It's the biggest margin we've had today. And there's Clarkson getting his kick despite the tackle from Waitland. Wakeland. Now watch what Steins does and we'll watch this centre bounce down and see if we can explain what Steins is doing because he's going up high early, bringing the ball back over his head, only just bringing it down and Viney's running through. Stein. 22 points the difference in the final quarter. Stein. Steins to Obst, pass Burke. Here come the D's again. Up towards full forward. Uze, Hilton, a fumble. Still he goes. Saints desperately manning up Cripps, or might be against Samson. Mark or free kick, Keo. Lobs it high towards centre wing. Obst punches down. Gets it back again, back to Glenn Lovett. Avoids one tackle, loses the ball in so doing. Now Turley, underground, Steins, Lowe's got him. Ferocious tackling, Daniels applies one. And there's about six players prostrate on the ground. Yes. When they tackle nowadays, they stay tackled under. They're just so strong. They push the weights. I tell you what, the masseurs will be working overtime. 22 points the margin. Throw up. Oh. Steins. Sampson. Knocked back by Jones. Keo. A little flip up. The Saints badly need a goal. Can Harvey give them something? He gets on his bike. Still he goes, approaching 50. The tackle nearly brings him down. Joel Smith, quick hand pass. Still Harvey. Tries to get it back to a teammate in Beveridge. He's caught. Wasn't in the back. The umpire says no, and the D's get out of danger again. That's Turley. To centre wing all the bounce. No, it doesn't favour Hilton. It rolls over the line. Valuable time ticking down. It's been a great quarter for Melbourne. The third term was terrific too. The Saints are battling their hearts out. But with Winmar there, they just lose that little bit. Harvey's been relatively quiet today. And uh, without the champion, Winmar there makes a big difference. Oh, oh there's a high tackle. Oh, oh the umpire's oh, missed it. He it was far that. too high on Glenn Lovett. 
right around his neck. He's not too worried. He watches this tackle down around the neck. That left arm, but not paid. Anyway, here's Clarkson. Here's a free kick going St Kilda's way. And it will go to Keo against Todd Liney. So still time. They've got just under nine minutes. And they are kicking with the breeze, but nothing much happening for them up forward. There's a Brett Hart. I'll tell you what, he'd get my vote, Ops. He's been fantastic. On to Hopgood. Mind you, I'm not doing the boats, Dodd, so it'll be your job. <laughs> Set a wing. Keo slung out of the contest. And gee, they've been hard at the ball, Melbourne, haven't they? A bit like the way Neil Baum used to play it. Oh, yeah. Hey? <laughs> to say that again, he used to frighten the heck out of a few. Barmy. Remember, he took on big Carl Tittrich one day at the MCG. Now, there's Steins. He's been very, very good. Here's Sampson. He's quite happy to let it roll over the line. Well, nobody is right mind to do that. <laughs> Except Barmy. He took on a few in his time. That's the way they're playing it today. Well, the Saints really need a couple of goals quickly to get themselves back into this match. Steins to Daniels. He's slung by Lovett when he didn't have it. And he'll take the free kick. There's eight minutes left in this game, but I just don't think St Kilda can get up. Not enough happening up there for them, Don. Marking contest. Taken out the back by Anthony Ingerson. They've been killed on ball, haven't, haven't they, really, St Kilda? Well, since Winmar left. Well, I thought Bo Burke's done all right early on. Yeah, and, he's uh, been around the ground. Um, uh, what's his name? Keo's done all right around the ball. Can't do it on his own, though. Vitovic back on. Ingerson missed it. Ops doesn't. Gives it to Stein, slaps it down. That was clever. He's got it to Clarkson. Clarkson back to the running Obst. Obst goes along the boundary line. In fact, he's gone over the boundary line, says the umpire. And it will come back for a throw in. Look at the bandages he's got on him, like a, a racehorse. Oh, no, I've got no doubt he hasn't got the best stats on the ground, but I still reckon he's the best player on the ground. Well, they're the not ground. bad. 12 and 9, five tackles, one goal. And knock ons. How many knock ons? Yeah, that's right. Some of the little them. things he's done that oh. don't go on the stat sheets. Joel Smith tackles Steins, ball shuffled out the back, but it goes in solidly, free kick to Melbourne, and it's going to be taken by Craig Turley. Back to Clarkson, Hopgood provides a shepherd. They go across goal, he's found Brett Lovett. The D's almost with a sniff of victory. They're tearing it around. Hopgood again at right half back. Vinovic comes at him, one on one on centre wing. Winning out is Andrew Obst. Good tackle applied by Burke, but still it's Obst. Still he goes, he's found another league. Now he finds Cowell. Cowell on the run, kicks well inside 50. Smith on a lead! Couldn't drag it down. It's left to Robert Harvey to try to do the tidying up work. Comes out effectively to Cripps. The kick up towards midfield. Punch away by Lovett from Sirikoski, ineffective. Now Zilla. Up and under job, low, one hand on his shoulder. Stewie Lowe to take the free kick against Vinovic. They need some goals quickly. Will this be one? One-on-one -on -one duel. That should be a goal. Could have gone on then, Beverage. Luke Beveridge. Well, they wanted to make sure of it, Don, I guess. So this will give the Saints at least some hope. There's still six and a half minutes left. Beveridge, 15 metres out. Kicks, and it looks pretty good from here. It's a goal. So they hang in, the Saints. Yes, but it's a little late. Beveridge a good player in the second quarter. But they just are not getting it. Melbourne really have got a sniff of it now. They want to go on with it. They've got players on the back line who are lifting. Their on-ballers have worked really hard. And they're just getting more numbers to the where the ball's falling at the moment. Melbourne playing inspired, confident football. Well, there's still time. Oh, Peter. There is. There's six, six and a half, six six and and a half minutes. minutes in the way that... This game's being played. Well, two goals, four. So, let's see what Vitovic can do. Steins, Clarkson crashes his way through. Under the left he goes. Down towards full forward. And a good mark for Seacamp, who has already kicked two goals. And the former Fitzroy, well, he was a backman of Fitzroy, will kick for goal and a... Well, I'd say they can't. He kicked a beautiful goal on the run. He did. That was a beauty, wasn't it? Well, if he kicks this, I don't think uh, St Kilda can win. So Marcus Seekamp for goal number three from 40 metres. 
Puts no. it up high, drifts it to the right. Now, did he sneak it in for a behind? He did. So St Kilda with the time clock showing just under six minutes. Neil Barm, there's Barry Richardson. And Greg Hutchison, a former player up on the left. Barry Richardson, of course, a great fullback and half forward at various stages for Richmond. And One of uh, two players to keep Peter Hudson goals. Keogh. Sirikoski. By the McLaren. If I let's go, that might be a trip. It will be. Gee, a so, quick, quick goal here would make yes, it interesting, it would. wouldn't it? Wakeland, he's too far out to score. He's past half forward flank between wing and right half forward. Low the target, down low, he takes the mark. Well, middle bit kick one from here earlier. Not an easy shot, though, just the same, is it? And he also kicked one from this position on the run, a lot further out than what Lowe's kicking. Five Brothers minutes to go. Late in the game. 74 to 91. And rushed off hand. Oh, no, it's still in play. Now it's cool. uh, taken over by Hopgood. In fact, the Melbourne player almost threw that. I hope he's not hurt that Melbourne player down there. Well, we don't Steins. want one. Steins. Well, chasing Skinny Titus's record of consecutive games. Sorry, he's not far away, is he, Pete? I think this is 199 consecutive games. He'll be right. 13-13 to 11-9. So the difference is 16 points, and we've got just under five minutes left in the match. Well, they've just got to get a quick goal now at the Saints. to put a bit of pressure on Melbourne. There's uh, Hopgood by telling him to kick it. He brings out towards halfback. Joel Smith sets himself. He'll end up with a Smith. Hooks it out to Ozzie Jones. He's got to kick it. He brings it to the danger area. Here's uh, Wakeland, Shane Wakeland. He's got to kick it quickly. Oh, he's just pushed off balance. Here's McLaren. Brings it to half forward. They need a mark. Trionides and Uze. Nathan Burke. Little terrier. Back he comes. Hopgood and Trionides. Strong tackle by Neitz. Out it comes to Obst again. On to Brett Lovett. On to Glenn Lovett. Harvey a free kick. He was held behind the play. Well, time is running out now. Four minutes left in it. They've got to get a goal from this forward thrust. Otherwise, you would think Melbourne would just about be over the line. Robert Harvey. Well, by his standards, a quiet day. 18 possessions. He has had a quiet day, Paul. Low on the lead and marks. It gets well, a bit of a push, I was going to ask you. I wonder if it is. No. My guy's not playing it. Yeah, you would think too far out to score. Oh, Vinovic! Oh, Vinovic! Well, if he kicks this and he should, there's still a chance and killed it. I'll tell you what, he wants to get it to the two. Look, he's dying to kick it through. Don't waste any more time, son. Just kick the goal. Oh, I think he's Jeez, got it. He's hooked it badly, anyway. He's got it. So they hang in there. The Saints bit of it kicks his first goal. Three and a half minutes left in the match. And Melbourne lead by ten points. Oh, don't tell me. I suppose well, it is possible. Well, they, they always had plenty of time, didn't they, when they were only 16 points down. Gee, yes, you wouldn't have thought the way Melbourne were playing. But they could come back into it. They're not giving up. Lowe had given up having a shot there, but there's Vedovic holding his ground. The ball dropping. Three and a half minutes. They must get the next goal. That's St Kilda, that is. Todd Viney. Here's Jason Daniels crashing his way through. Daniels trying to get onto his right boot. He brings it out wide. It's a mark to Hilton. Oh. That's a strong mark. That's a mark they needed. I'll say it was because you can drive it into it that we should be going long at the stage of yes, the game. Yes, my word. Go back and put it up towards the goal screen. Put pressure on. Don't kick it. He shouldn't be kicking it short, I wouldn't think. He's looking for the short one. No, now he's banging long. That's the way to do it. Up in front of goal. Sean Smith is marked. Beautiful use of the body on Neil. And the miracle man has taken the mark. <laughs> he's saying I got punched in the face. In the... <laughs> <laughs> well, Sean Smith, he was exciting early. He took a couple of ripper marks, one in particular. Now, he's putting a mark on the turf. Robert Neal speaking to Matthew Norton, the umpire. Now, he's taking his pace back. And Smith has kicked two. Two, three. Well, here he goes from directly in front to put St Kilda out of business. If he kicks it, he stabs and puts it through. Three goals. 
with the foot forward, and I'd say Melbourne are home now. Yes, you couldn't see them losing from here, Don, could you? Well, I don't know. <laughs> now, here it is. Here's Hilton taking the mark. And it's good use of the body by Smith further down the ground. What have we got? A bit over two and a half minutes left. There he is pushing off Neil. It was a good mark. It was a smart kick by Hilton because you've got to go long in this situation. I just felt sorry for Daniels because when he kicked the ball, there was nothing on offer for him. So the difference back to 16 points in the Bees. Look as though they might have their first win of the season. Off oh, there's up. holding the ball. Who's got it? Melbourne. Line ball. Oh, I thought he didn't have any chance of getting rid of that one, Don. Sampson gives it back pretty quickly to the umpire. Steins and Bidovic go at it. Keogh drag down. Was it too high? Love it. Daniels. Joel Smith tries to punch it clear. Steins is down there as well. The umpire oh. will ball it up again. Jimmy caught one on the back of his head, but it's pretty solid. I'll tell you what. Not his head. His head. <laughs> <laughs> He's Irish. You coached him in the ruck at one stage, didn't you, Don? Taught him everything he knows. That's, that's why not he, very much. That's why he knows nothing. <laughs> I didn't say that, Jim. <laughs> Bidovic wins that one. Sirikoski, Harvey. Oh, through some pretty heavy traffic. The hand pass to Burke left a little bit to be desired. Burke gives out the hand pass to McLaren. His step and goal it. is there. Low, no, on the line, touches it. So one behind. And low appealing to the umpire. I was being held. Why wasn't I given the free kick? 15 points the difference. So they had three goals in under two minutes and you couldn't see that happening, Pete. Well, Melbourne have been trounced the first couple of games. Collingwood annihilated them last week. And yet out they've come and with enormous commitment today. Oh, Here's Robbie Harvey. Could be a goal. Receiving brings it oh. back. And he has kicked the goal, Robert Harvey. His second. Gee, they won't go down. What have we got? We've got a minute and a half left. And nine points. They've got and to get it out of the centre. Nine points. They get this That's out. not impossible, oh, is it? No. no. They must get it out of the centre straight away and up and kick a goal. Yeah, and then they've got a chance. Then they've got a chance. That's right. And Stein's going to just tap it back as he's been doing. You've got Vitovic in there. Might be a bit difficult. Nine points in a thriller. Vitovic. Obst. Certainly one of Melbourne's best players. Out to Hilton. Stands his ground well. Kicks again long. There's a free full kick. forward. Umpire says no. Clarkson. Oh, That's a Turley. If Smith goes down behind the plane, he'll get a free kick. Well, I didn't see that one. I did. He was collected. And the umpire was right there. Was he collected or held? Pete? He was collected. You can see getting up pretty gingerly. I don't know whether we've got it on screen. I was looking through the glasses. There's going to be some sore boys after oh, this game, oh, isn't there, What? He's holding his shoulder, too. He's left shoulder, it, Smith. Let's hope there's a spa in those uh, rooms that they can dive into afterwards. Three goals, three against Sean Smith's name. Nettlebeck has four. The D's leading contributor, but this has put the game out of reach of St Kilda, irrespective of what he does here, because the clock is ticking down as he lines up the goals. So Melbourne will win their first match of the year. Sean Smith has kicked three. And he's still kicked three. He's kicked three goals, four. And the attendance this afternoon, 11,800. And I'll tell you what, Pete, they've all got their money's worth. Oh, this is one of the best games I've seen in a long time, Pete. And I think Don would agree. Old-fashioned, tough, hard. And you know, no big pardons asked out there. There's been some great individual. I'd hate to be giving the votes. Because there's about six blokes I want to put in the boats. Here's a free kick going St Kilda's way as the time clock ticks down. I reckon Melbourne will get a lot of pleasure out of winning this game. And that siren sounds. McLaren goes across to Burke. And Nathan Burke, well, he's been fantastic. 24 kicks. Yeah, he's been a great oh, They've bucked this one up. Here's Seacamp. Back to Lobst. Lobst have been sensational. Long kick down towards Hilton. Tackle is laid and the up, I'm sure, will bounce this. And he will. So in the few seconds remaining, and the Bees will win their first match of the year. Still the clock ticks down. Timekeeper puts his hand on the siren. Socket away by Smith. There it is. And I don't think that was a score. No. Because the siren has gone, but it won't matter. Because Melbourne have won their first match for 1996 in the AFL centenary year. 
Terrific effort by the Bees. Melbourne winning 14-14, 98 to St Kilda. 13-10, 88.